This week's episode is sponsored by The Soul Hub. The Soul Hub is on a mission to empower you to transform your life. We believe that if you are opened up to new ways of thinking, you can create your own reality. The cold water tubs are an easy and inexpensive way for you to experience the power of cold water therapy. Cold water therapy has changed countless lives. They hope to help you take control of your mental and physical health to connect you with who you truly are. You can now follow me on all my social media platforms to find out who my latest guest will be. And don't forget to click the subscribe button and the notifications button so you're notified for when my next podcast goes live. I feel like I was getting somewhere. And then, uh, like, as you know, this, uh, last week, my cousin was uh, brutally raped and murdered. So that's been a massive shock. Yeah, like really, really done me. When you've been in there for a long time, mm. you, people don't realise that it's hard. When you come out, it smashes you to pieces, mate. Mm. To serve all that time in there, it's like you have trouble with it. You have to find intimacy again. You've got to find ways of speaking to your daughter again or your kids again. Mm. You're very robust in order to set in your ways and your traits. Mm. So like, you know, it's uh, and people only still see you as you were 30 years ago. Some mm. people don't allow you to be anyone else. I was in Belmarsh and I was sitting there looking at, oh, I had 22 years sat in a cell and I, 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 I think why? Most people go, who've said to me, some tough people went, Tony, how are you gonna do it? Do you want me to get you some pill smuggled and kill yourself? I went, what? what? I went, what? They went, Tony, how are you going to fucking do it? It's like people come, the people was white as a ghost. When I got it, it was the biggest sentence in the 90s. Wow. I was playing volleyball next day and I thought, why am I am I to accept this sentence? It was a relief that I left the streets and went in there. Quite often when we're praying for people, we get to find out what, what's been done, what, yeah. what the curse is. And quite often um, it's like child sacrifice and human yeah. sacrifice and... Yeah. Or like a lot of witchcraft and yeah. act, like devil worshiping and you yeah. know this is this is like quite common back in the yeah. day you know what i mean because the amount of people we yeah. pray for quite a lot have had that type of uh thing happen in their bloodline yeah, exactly. you know yeah. right away i wanted to go to court and see this geezer i want to look him in the eye see that's that part comes back mm. i thought oh, i fucking want to destroy you man i want to look in your eye and i, I want to destroy you as, as my two brothers here said about their hearts lord people with broken hearts lord broken hearts lord lord it says in your word that you lord gather the pieces of them broken hearts and you put them hearts back together lord jesus so we ask right now lord that you do that lord for any fragmented souls broken hearts lord lord collect the pieces right now lord collect the pieces right now lord put them back together with your own two hands lord Heal the broken hearts, Lord. Ben, we're on today's guest. We've got two great men, Tony Argent. Yep, nice, James. Good nice to see, see you again, again, Tony. Kev, how are you, brother? Yeah, good, thanks. So this is something totally different that I've done. We've got former criminal, a man who spent over 20 years in prison for murder, trying to change his life. I've interviewed nearly 200 people. You're one of the best guys I've ever oh, met. Thank you, James. There's something Appreciate about that. you, Tony, that thank you. there's something real about you and I can oh, see that you're you. trying to change. Thanks, mate. Kev's obviously lived that life as well, armed mm. robber, sold yeah. drugs, done a lot of bad shit, yeah. spent time in prison. Now you're a pastor. Yeah. Try to heal people, change lives. I just think we use two guys connecting. I think something special can happen nice. here. Yeah, um, definitely. First of all, guys, how have you been? Oh Kev. <laughs> yeah, all right. Yeah, just getting on with things and uh, working and, you know, a uh, lot, lot of stuff we do with the church and stuff mm -hmm. as well. So, yeah, pretty busy as always, Good. really. Yourself, yeah. Tony, the last well, time you were on the podcast, over a quarter of a million views. Yeah. Everybody sending love. Yeah, it's been oh, nice. Yeah. And then um, I feel like I was getting somewhere. And then, uh, like, as you know, this, uh, last week, my cousin was uh, brutally raped and murdered. So... That's been a massive shock. Yeah, like really, really done me. Yeah. Sorry to hear that. Yeah, it's like, uh, I don't want to go into detail about it, but uh, RIP Maria Rawlings, my cousin, we love you and I, I miss you loads. And uh, that's all I'm going to say about it because it's like, it's just devastated a lot of us. You know what I mean? It has. The way she's been killed is just like, uh, I'm nothing I've ever heard of. It's worse than Jack the Ripper or Yorkshire Ripper. Apparently, the geezer smashed her to pieces, left her naked at 47 years old outside wow. of school. It's just crazy, yeah. Uh, but uh, uh, yeah, it's, it's it's weird sometimes, and all you it's like when when you're become the victims of what what we do. Sometimes you become the victims, not like because we say we're, but we wouldn't do that. 
Yeah. It's, it's like we've got a bad thing where we go, yeah, but that's not us. We don't do that. We just do our own. That's mm. how bad our mindset yeah. is. But it still affects, you know, it affects how any murder affects any other family. You understand mm. me? You get, yeah. you've had, I've had a taste of it and it's not nice. You understand mm. me? Does that affect you, Tone, like for you doing a murder to then? Yeah. yeah. Your family getting murdered? Like does that. it, yeah, does it then bring um, all the stuff that you've done up in the past? Yeah, how those other families like felt? Sh- yeah, it feels like I, I, I feel like. Uh, I'm not allowed to grieve uh, like because of what I am, and, and I think I am allowed to grieve over it. You got me? It's, mm. it's just sad. Yeah, it's, yep. the impact is massive. Yeah, I can imagine. It is, yeah, massive. But I, f- I think, yeah, you're definitely allowed to grieve because um, yeah. all of us make mistakes in our life yeah. and go through different stages. You know yeah. what I mean? And you, you've you've paid for your mistakes, haven't you? Yeah. You know what I mean? It's not yeah. like you haven't been punished for it. Yeah. You know what I mean? So, um, uh, you know, and you're you're clearly um, changing and, yeah. and wanting a new life. So. Yeah. You know why? Why would you not be able to grief? You know what I mean. So uh, yeah, you know. But but I will see a lot of people come mm. on on these podcasts and say change. I even tell probation. They said like sometimes I could have a fight every twenty four hours mm. because it's your way of life. When someone mm. looks at you and thing, and I don't say nothing. Someone life license, which is a good. It's a good because it keeps me grounded. Yeah. But sometimes it feels like people are testing you to push the boat out mm. with you to see what you're about. Because mm. I thought when I'd done the first podcast, I thought like I, it was a breath of fresh air. Like I said to you, for me, it was like like my mate sitting there, Wayne, he'd tell you, like I didn't get no bad comebacks at all from at all. People was like proud of me for doing it. Mm. So I actually like achieved more from doing it. It's a bit of therapy for me. Mm. Yeah, me? you were nervous yeah. about doing yeah. it, but look at the love that you got. And people people know real, people ain't yeah. daft. You yeah. can't, you can, people can pull the wheel over people's eyes yeah. for a, a short yeah. period of time yeah. and then the bullshit slits but with yeah. you Tony you're raw even yeah. you never cancel today even though the shit that you're going through because no. of your loyalty is so no, strong thank you and then um, you. you're trying to get a book done as well which I think would yeah. be phenomenal mm. yeah. try to change yeah. your life and do better make an honest crust yeah. how hard has it been battling the last few months for you being out <sighs> well I can't, do you know what if I, if I was brutally honest some days I'll get up and I'll, I'll feel like smashing my head against the wall that's how it, that's how it does me Mm. Across the prison, and I've watched Yami now. He's slipped, and my friend Yami, obviously, who's on the to podcast, Yami. first he was rolling, and I said, "Jam, yeah. I said I'm going to feel you're going to have a fall because we go at it when you've been in there for a long time. Mm. You, people don't realise that it's hard when you come out. It smashes you to pieces, mate. Mm. To serve all that time in there, it's like you have trouble with it. You have to find intimacy again. You've got to find ways of speaking to your daughter again or your kids again mm. you're very robust in order to set in your ways in your traits mm. so like you know it's uh and people only still see you as you were 30 year ago some mm. people don't allow you to be anyone else mm. but what i've learned is you just got to be you mm. and you ain't got to be perfect ever mm. in your life but you've just got to take you've got to keep going and be positive mm. but i think i'm not going to be perfect ever that's mm. like, I still carry a lot of yeah. uh, burdens and traits. You understand me? How does Tony I, I, help with that? Well, okay. I think the thing is, see, yeah. none of us are perfect. No. Yeah, none of us are perfect. No. You know, as you know, I'm a pastor and stuff like that, and I've, yeah. I've, I've been a Christian for about yeah. 17 years now. But, you know, that's what I said on the last podcast, that um, uh, I still make mistakes. People say, oh, you know, you're meant to be a Christian. Oh, you know, yeah. you do this. I still can get angry. I yeah. still can get impatient. Um, you know, and do say things sometimes I wish I hadn't said, yeah. you know, but but I'm going in the right direction. Yeah. And that's what, what I believe is going to happen with you. Even yeah. even without God, you know, yeah. you're going to, you're going to just naturally, yeah. get, just, it just takes time. Yeah. You get used to it and you, you'll hit a few bumps in the yeah. road, but along the way, you'll continue yeah. to grow. And it's just about a change of environment, isn't it? Yeah. You know I mean? You've been setting that I- I- inside yeah. and, and uh, with a certain set of people yeah. and stuff like that, you know? So yeah. it's going to take a while. It ain't going to happen overnight, yeah. but it's, yeah. that's where the strength comes in. Yeah. You know, that shows you a real strong man yeah. is not to go and hit someone. Yeah. It's, it's to not hit someone. But that's really hard mm. because I can go somewhere on a lot day, even when the lockdown's been on and you can go somewhere mm. And you can be with your girl or whatever you're with, your family, and you might come across four geezers and and they're like this people just don't you think you they they don't know what you're about from your past and that. Yeah. And they're really rude when you're out mm. with oh, like yeah. they're really rude and disrespectful I find today. Mm. But I'm not worried about them, I worry about me. Mm. Cause once if something happens, it's too late. It's just you know, it doesn't mean you're violent, you love violence. It's just that, it's that thing we talked about. When you're a kid again, it's put on you, you're going to have it again. 
It's mm. frightening. Do you understand me? So it's like, I was kind of avoid social life, to be fair. Mm. I do, which is sad. Sometimes I avoid places or avoid going out. You got me? Do you feel as if you should be forcing yourself to go out or you just become nah. just institutionalised? Just, I still think I'm very institutionalised, badly. Yeah. Mm. Still, I still have to have a set day, even if like, I, ain't, I ain't grafting now. So I'll get up and... It's like half oh, of me, I'll wander around, I'll watch YouTube, watch a bit of YouTube, watch boxing all day. And I think, God, oh, it's got to be a bit more. But the love of mm. my family keeps you going. Mm. That's the thing that keeps you going. And your yeah. friends, like a good mate there, Wayne Sutton, I've got loads of good friends. They're the ones that keep you going. Like mm. if Wayne's visited me for 20 odd, 22 years, Wayne, isn't it? He visited me, my friend, and it's been, that's what counts for me, is mm. that loyalty and the, uh, friendship. But he don't ask nothing from me. A lot of my friends don't ask me to go and sort their rag out or something. Mm. There's people still yeah. asking you for favours, Colin? Yeah, unbelievably, yeah. yeah. Still now, Yeah, really? yeah, yeah wow. still, yeah, yeah, wow. still, yeah, still. Where do you go from here then, Tony, going through that uh, trauma with your niece? Do you know what? It, it's, I've got to change something in the next few weeks. Something's like, perhaps this today might help. That's why I, mm. I always believe in reason, spiritually I am, I'll come here today because I need a bit of saviour today again. I need a bit of a, an injection of a yeah. bit of therapy today. Do you understand me? Mm. You understand what I mean? Yeah, so I in a way, I was pushed here today, not me. I don't mm. know if people think, oh, here they go, they're like spiritual. But to me, something made me get up today and thought I've got to go there today because mm. sometimes it helps. It, it's a calling, isn't it? You think uh, something's mm, telling me to go and see James and you today. Mm. Do you understand me? I think everyone's everyone's searching. This is the thing, you know what I mean? And, and um, everyone's broken, you know, yeah. one way or another, you know what I mean? And we're all kind of searching for something. Yeah. Most of us don't know what we're searching well, for. I want content. That's so why I just mm. want to be content in the mind. But but yeah. but this is the thing, right? This is how I feel yeah. myself. For a lot of years, I, I never, I was not never content with nothing, yeah. you know what I mean? And it all seemed to be okay for a little while, but yeah. really I weren't really content. Yeah. Um, but... What I feel now is I still have troubles and strifes and yeah. things go wrong, you know, trials and, trials and tribulations, yeah. as they say, right? But um, so we still have that to deal with in life. That's wh whatever you are, Christian yeah. or not, you know, yeah. but but what I have got is peace. Yeah. Yeah, I've got, I got peace, which yeah. I never had, yeah. you know. I always, um, yeah. obviously in my old life, I was always yeah. wondering whether my door was going to come through and, yeah. you know what I mean, whether a deal would go wrong or yeah. so like, you know, someone yeah. tried to rob um, one of my guys once and I sent my driver and, he, and they held him up with shotguns and yeah. stuff like that. You know, anything could have happened back in the yeah. day, you know, and yeah. then we was running around doing silly things yeah. as well, yeah. guns and yeah. stupid things as well, you know, so, but I never had no peace, you know, and, yeah. and, and totally this is seems what I've got cross, now, you know. The crossroads now, Kev, yeah. how yeah. long did it take you to push through and realise, okay, I'm, I'm really making changes because it was making changes mm. at the start, obviously with something like this, the major trauma yeah. obviously affects past traumas as well yeah. and bring to the surface. So mm. yeah. how do you push through that? How do you push through for peace well, and harmony? And Yeah, for me, what I would say to you, what, what I'd say is, um, um, f uh, you know, for Christ is, is what's, is yeah. what has really helped me and stuff like, uh, you know, uh, is, is really helped me. And like I say, it's give me that peace, but it's yeah. just taking that step. You know what I mean, and and just trying, and and uh, but the thing is, because of the environment you're you're from, yeah. um, it's like everyone thought we was nuts. My my own family yeah. thought we was crazy. Look how many and, Christians and people were the boxers? Yeah. You could name them all. Mm. Do you know they seem to get on the right path of it sometimes? You understand mm. what I mean? Mm. But then I'm I'm always this. Just I go in my house. I've got a cross here. I've had it on, on my prison bed for years. Put mm. it there because we're hypocrites sometimes when you believe mm. in God like I do. You can't have a prayer when you've done something wrong. Yeah. It's like, it's yeah. madness. It's like, yeah. you do. And yeah, you think, no, please forgive me. I've been at it tonight. Done yeah. this, done that, please. And you just want, that's your, that's how selfish you are. And then I always have this cross here the other night. And uh, when that happened, I think, why, what, like, why again? Why is this happening? Mm. Do, you, do you understand yeah. me? It's like the family gets settled in, like, seeing me mum and Maria's dad who died, who got killed, and my family, oh, and it's painful. Wow. And I just think to myself, nah, sometimes it's, it's hard, isn't it? So yeah, Maria's yeah. dad get killed as well? No. Yeah. The girl who got murdered, did her dad get no, killed? No, he someone just, else? no. No, this was just, a, um, it was just, a, it's, it's how it's affected us all. It's mm -hmm. just, a, it's the way she was murdered. It's brutal. Yeah. Kev talks yeah. about curses. He talks <laughs> about generational curses. Yeah. All my dad's uncles were yeah, murdered. This is what you were saying yeah, to me. Yeah, all my uncles have been murdered or a few yeah. of them have been murdered. It's like generation, but Kev believes in generational curses. Is I do. It Kev, where I do. You can, can, what is that? So basically, I my mean, family, sorry, my family's yeah. a capital punishment. Okay. Yeah, my family's been uh, hanged in Woolwich oh, years wow. ago for murder. A dock policeman killed a dock policeman. Wow. Yeah. 
So you, yeah. so you know that first hand then, don't you? Yeah, that's, that's family, like there's yeah. a hereditary sometimes. Is it always uh, come round? Yeah, so so there's a reason for it. So what normally happens in our in our past uh, ancestors, yeah, it could be like 20, 30 generations yeah. ago, something's happened with them to start a curse. Yeah. yeah? So when they it's just believe say, that, you know. I'm yeah. sorry, fucking, sorry to swear. I no, no, it's okay. That so no much. problem. Yeah. Be, be yourself. No problem. Yeah. But but you could you you've only got to look at all different families. You say, yeah. oh, you know what? That guy's a ha- alcoholic. His dad was an yeah. alcoholic. His granddad was that. You know, yeah. it might miss a generation. Yeah. You know, sometimes they can they can conquer yeah. their demons, as they say. You yeah. know, but so but you'll see that the same sort of things pass down that generation yeah. or within yeah. the family. Might be yeah. a cousin. Might not go to yeah. that dad, but it might be the cousin's yeah. done the same, and then you've yeah. done the same. And you see what I mean? Yeah. And so there'd be all different reasons for it. So there'll be. Yeah. Um, you know, it could have been that someone uh, committed murder. Yeah. I mean, the maddest thing is you'd never believe, honestly, some of the things our ancestors done because they was like pagans and stuff yeah, like that. Of course, yeah. They yeah. they done like quite often when we're praying for people, we get to find out what what's been done, what yeah. what the curse is, and quite often um, it's like child sacrifice and human yeah. sacrifice and. Yeah. Or like a lot of witchcraft and yeah. at, like devil worshiping and you yeah. know this is this is like quite common back in the yeah. day you know what I mean because the amount of people we pray for quite a lot have had that type of uh, thing happen in their bloodline yeah, exactly. you know yeah. Yeah. and so with that it brings different yeah. you know and then you you've got also you got like it, it might be incest you know yeah. and then because of that it's all yeah. it releases a, a spirit called Jezebel so yeah. Jezebel is responsible for all the sexual sin stuff yeah. so it could be. You know, this guy rape. It could yeah. be sexual sin of some description. Could yeah. be incest, or yeah. you know, like can't get enough partners. And yeah. You know what I mean? That's yeah. type of thing. Yeah. This is, yeah, but this it ends in nothing. Mm. The mm. sexual stuff I used to have years ago. I used to go out. I'm, I'm, it's not a bragging sense no more. When I sit there now, I'm older and look back. I think you're not an hero. You're not a main man doing it. You're actually a bit of a sadie, mate. You're mm. a bit of no seriously. You're a bit of a sad guy, mate. Because if you can't have one partner. And have that intimacy, like, and, and enjoy that. Mm. You ain't gonna get intimacy from one night's here and one night's there, mate. No. You're not. No. You ain't gonna get it. It's yeah. an addiction. Yeah. It's another addiction, it is. mate. It is. You're going home empty. You mm. buzz at the time. Once it's over, when you're with someone who you like and you and you have that intimacy, after you like to lay with them. Yeah. When you're doing this and doing that and you're out, you're partying. You go. You don't want to lay with that person mm. once that's over. Yeah, it's a nothing because yeah. it ain't meant to be. You mm. know what I mean? Yeah. So if totally to have a relationship, you've got to have a friend. Mm. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's, 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 they've got to be your totally friend. Get that. Mm. And you've got to trust your friends. That's how you've got to be. It's I'm cool. a loyal person. Yeah. I trust friends. That I've got a lot on friends. You got me? Mm. You got to understand me? I so what is that then, Kev, if somebody's. Family, keep losing family members to murder and involved in murders. What is that? Is that a well, curse? Yeah, it's a what? curse. Yeah, it's a curse. So, like I say, um, uh, it's there's different spirits. So, so very like you know, obviously with, with murder, it's a murder spirit. Yeah. Um, like I say, it's probably they've had um, uh, you know sacrifices going on. Yeah. So you get there's other sort of spirits you can get through that yeah. as well. So yeah, you're it just depends. Back from, really. Sorry, you're talking back like 20, I watched a true story of um, yeah. the crippled Viking boy. What was his name? Uh, the Vikings. I watched it. I think that was a true story. Mm. But I used to like give up someone. Like you had to be sacrificed. Mm. And like to me, that like that was their religion. Like you come home, take your daughter, and go. She's got to go. And like they enjoyed yeah, going. They did, yeah. Like they enjoyed going, mate. Mm. But they ain't going nowhere. Just getting your throat cut. Mm. It's like madness, isn't it? It's the same done. as the suicide bombers, and that they think yeah. they're going to yeah. get married with thirty odd wives yeah, and exactly. go to this place wow. in heaven exactly. for yeah. killing yeah. themselves. But so can, people can be manipulated then by the yeah. mind and so whatever they believe yeah. they can follow. Also, mm. so how can how do you break curses, Kev? So basically, um, uh, we don't we don't do none of this. We we can pray over someone in general, yeah. and we can say, Lord, we you know we break curses and stuff like that. But a lot of the time, what we do is we do deliverance, yeah. Uh, and so we go in a little bit deeper. But with the deliverance, we can't we yeah. can't do it on non Christians. This is yeah. the thing, yeah, because what happens is the Bible says that the the spirits go out yeah. uh, seeking dry ground and they can't find it, and then they go back to the house, which is us. We're described yeah. as a house in, in in the Bible, and and they see that the house is all swept clean and garnished. Yeah it says and then they take seven w- uh, more spirits more wicked than the first yeah. so it ends up yeah. being in a worse condition yeah. you see yeah. do you mm-hmm. believe in any of that Tone? do you know what I, 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 it's not without, it's not the same format I think about 
but it's, it, yeah. it's on the same it's on the same path because mm. I lay there every night, mate. And I'm listen. I know millions of people watch this. I don't care because I'm an upfront guy. Because a lot of people are cowards. They can't say what yeah, they're really thinking. That's right. Thanks. Do you understand mm. me? If someone's successful, they go, oh, but he's a wrong and he's this or he's got the, mm. th there's so much hatred or jealousy for people. So much. Your best yeah. mate could be like you think he's your best mate. Mm. He's double crossing you every day. Mm. It's uh to me. I think he's just like. I always, I say to, I say to my family sometimes, why can't I watch a film without thinking about a second thought and mm. a third thought while I'm watching that film? So mm. you are supposed to be enjoying a film, but I go ping, ping, ping. So I've got four different things going on mm. while I'm watching a film. Mm. Why can't I just watch a film and relax mm. and just watch yeah. a film? Mm. I overthink everything I do every day. It's like a torment. It's like a de it's torture. Well, that's that's Every time, exactly yeah. what it is. It's yeah. a tormenting spirit. Or I'll go to bed and I don't mm. want to go to bed because I don't fear going to bed. How mad's that? Mm. Cause, it's mad. Because you, cause yeah. you fear going to bed. So. Yeah, sometimes well, I fear yeah. it. Yeah. yeah, fear going to sleep. Why is that? Yeah. I don't know. Do you have nightmares, Tony? Yeah, loads of nightmares. Yeah, yeah, mm. I do have them, yeah. Never had counselling, therapy? Do you know what? Uh, I've done, obviously, you know, I've In done prison, yeah. Brendan, yeah. But uh, um, it helps to a certain degree, but only you know... There's, look, you can spit a lot of stuff out, but some things you got you can't spit out everything, mate, because mm. it'll empty you. you. You can't do it. There's a certain... If you find, look, to me, sometimes I think, I wish there's a place I could go where I could chill out and mm. just, like, be me. It's hard to find, isn't it? Well, it's I a, do know a place, yeah. funny enough. You see more chilled than me. I'm very envious, not in an horrible envious way. I look at you now and think, why ain't I like but, that? But but do you want do you it? Understand you can me? have it. Yeah, but I'm you frightened have to have it. it. And that's that. Because I put down the armour. I, I think I'm afraid to put down the armour. I really am. That's scared to I'm be vulnerable. Being, yeah, being back a vulnerable again when I was mm. like a kid. That's mm. what I really feel like. I'm scared of putting my shield and sword down. Mm. Even though I'm not using it, and I don't want to, you're still hanging on to it. It's in the cupboard somewhere. I'm never going to use it again, hopefully, ever in my life. Don't contradict what I'm saying. But I know what you mean. I'll, yeah. st I'll still know. I, I can lay the signs and think, yeah, I still can go if I want to go. But I won't ever go. What a contradiction mm. saying. Yeah. yeah. But I can, I'll go to my probation of I'll tell her I can get angry. I don't go, yeah, life's bloody fucking sweet. I sit there and I go, listen, I'm having problems, mate. You got me? Yeah. Because I tell them. Yeah, that's just honest, isn't yeah. it? Because you're not the only one. Yeah. They know that everyone's going through the same see, stuff. Like, they, I see right? James, I lift, I go, vroom. Come back mm. from James that week. Anxiety, come on. I thought, everyone, won't you do well? Then all of a sudden I'll go... I thought, oh, what a path I'm on. Then I went, once the connection was done, I see mm. James, I still call you, he's a good friend now, I class James a friend. He's a good man. And yeah. his love is genuine for you, I know, like mm. he does. And, you know, he, he's had some uh, He's had some people, he tries to help sometimes, he's not going to go into it. You learn, you get bitten by a lot awesome. of people, you do. Yeah. And you think, where's that come from, mate? The, the vis I respond to that viciousness sometimes of people. Mm. Th that's what I don't like. If someone is being spiteful to me, that is what I find very difficult mm. to be nasty to someone. Yeah? Yeah, yeah. I know exactly yeah. what you mean. Yeah. yeah. Uh, to be honest with you, uh, this, this yeah. is one of the good things again. Yeah. Am I making sense? Do I make sense? Yeah. 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 Perfect sense. Yeah. Perfect sense, yeah. right? Yeah. So, so. I went through all the same stuff, yeah. right? I, I'm a really loyal person yeah. and, and quite often I trust people yeah. and, uh, you know, they let me down. But you, you know? wait for them to let you down. Yeah, it's yeah. Not when, it's not mm. if, it's when. Yeah, when. But there's mm. a saying that says, everyone's going to hurt you in the end, so mm. it's best to be hurt by the ones you love. Yeah. What a saying. Yeah, what a horrible yeah. saying, really, isn't it's it? It's a terrible saying. By the saying. ones you love. <laughs> yeah, it's yeah. terrible. But this, yeah. this is what I found when I went to church, right? This is one of the things that I've, I said I love it because there was all different people from all different walks of life. Back in the day when we first started going, there weren't really a lot of people from our sort of background. Like loads that. now. Yeah, there's loads now. Yeah. Loads, Boxes yeah. Boxes everyone now. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. I think everybody's looking for some sort of peace. No mm. matter, some people search yeah. from it through a drink, drugs. But, they, but they've seen whatever. it. They say they've mm -hmm. seen it. Oh, when, my, uh, when I lost me uh, kid when I was in jail, I mean, I lost me dad, I was in Belmarsh and I was sitting there looking at, oh, I had 22 years sat in a cell and I oh, I, I think why most people go who've said to me some tough people went tell me now you're going to do it do you want me to get you some pill smuggled and kill yourself I went what, what? I went what they went tell me now you're going to fucking do it it's like people come, the people was white as a ghost when I got it it was the biggest sentence in the 90s wow I was playing volleyball next day and I thought why am I am I to accept this sentence it was a relief that I left the streets and went in there I quite embraced it Mm. I quite embraced it. I wow. locked the door mm. shutting behind me. I quite embraced. Mm. Is that peaceful, you Tony? Away yeah. from all the noise. Yeah, 
yeah. But now I've got love of my family again. Yeah, of course. It's yeah. like it then puts another block in front of you. They, they need you. And mm. then I used to feel like I couldn't care if someone pulled a gun out of me on the street years ago, shot me, I'd still want to fight. You know, there's mm. people who witnessed me, the knife's been pulled out, and I'm fighting in the street. Most men would run away. That knife's going in me. I'm still, ah, I want it. I want to, I want to fucking have it right there and then. Mm. So you think, I actually thought I didn't give a, a monkey's whether I went or not. Mm. But now when you, you get the children to grow up and they love you and that, you want, all, you don't, you want your life to slow yeah. down a bit. Your birthday comes now. You think, oh, I don't want another birthday. Yeah, I know that Because they're growing up and I ain't going to be here long enough to help them when they fall mm. over or they hurt themselves. It's it's all much, that's how I think. Mm. Yeah. So you've got grand, grandchildren? Yeah, yeah, yeah I have. Yeah. Grandchildren you got? Two, yeah. yeah. I've got two as well. Two, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. They're the love of my life, mate. Yeah, yeah. Same, absolutely yeah. dote on them, yeah. yeah absolutely right. dote on them. Yeah, yeah, they're that's precious, that's, aren't they? Yeah, ah, they're, they're honestly, so precious. You never think like when you have kids is is amazing. Yeah. Like and you think you'll never find that yeah. love again. You know, for anyone else, yeah. so amazing. Yeah, but love's law is true. But yeah, yeah, it's then, true, then mate. you get your grandkids yeah. come along. So like, that was keeping yeah. you alive, Tom. Mm. Yeah, listen, I ain't gonna lie. It's like it's like for me right now. It's just I'm in a I'm in a place where I'm all right. I ain't gonna foul, but I'm not all right. Do you understand me? I really ain't all right now. Like anxiety's back again, like tenfold. You understand me? It's yeah. like, it's just, it's, it's just like, you, I think I'm getting it for two days. Like I was going to do the book, start doing the book, and then all of a sudden I think, nah, my head's not right for it. And it's, then I get a mode, I go, it's powerful, but I just need to get on and do it. So today yeah. is a big change for me. Usually when I'm like I am now, I avoid. I've always mm. been an avoider. So today, mm. anxiety or not, I think, fucking, I'm moving, I'm going there, mate, to mm. do what I've got to do. That's it, yeah. You've got to push through it. You've got to, yeah. Because me yeah. and you are strong because not mm. many people can sit here mm. and won't come on here. Mm. Yeah? Yeah, you're right. Because they don't mm. want to show someone going, I'm really sorry what I've done there. They go, oh, fuck that, mate. I don't feel sorry. Because they're like, I want to be the gangster and mm. be a tough guy. Because most guys are put on uh, a lot in my life and all. They want to be hard. When it's on them, I've watched them crumble, mate. Yeah. A brave man is a man who talks about his stuff. Simple as that. It takes a lot more strength, yeah. I think, Yeah, and a hard sometimes. man is a man who goes mm. to work and provides for his children yeah. in a white van, does yeah. window cleaning, whatever. That's a real man. Mm. Yeah, not putting your yeah. life online to leave your kids behind. How mad are you? Yeah. yeah it's just crazy. Right? It all seems right when you're yeah. young, doesn't it? You and you're getting it. that mindset. I've done mindset it for my missus. And... I bought her an house and that. Mm. And you think, you didn't really do it for your missus. Because, you know, to me, if your missus wants you to do that, then there's something wrong with her as well. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> is that real love? Yeah. Go on, I'm a bit skinned. Go and do a security van. Oh, fucking hell, love, yes. That's lovely, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, yeah come right. on. Mm. Is that real love? No, it ain't. Is it? Yeah. For real love, if a woman wants you to steam into someone, I've had no. girls like that. I'm in a pub, they go, look, he can't do him. He just don't. No woman should be telling you that. Oh, he said, uh, he said, what woman is nutty enough to come home to, to you and say, oh, someone's chatting me mm. up. Or rather, that woman who cares about it will deal with it herself. Mm not come back to someone like us and say that. Yeah, because they love it a lot of the time, yeah. don't they? Revel yeah. in it to see you going fighting yeah. for them and, oh, that's yeah. my man and you know what yeah. I mean? But yeah, thank God I've, I yeah. found a good one and all, you know what I mean? And uh, Yeah, they're hard know. to find. Yeah. 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 How hard was but it to make your changes, Kev, when you started can, from the robbery, selling drugs and out of prison, battling with addictions? Mm. Can you see a bit of yourself in tone? Yeah, I can. When he's the yeah, battling, because right yeah, now yeah. I see it at the crossroads yeah. tone, but you're going to push through. You're a strong character. Yeah. This is just a wobble in life where yeah. this is, yeah. it's not do or die, but you're yeah. too strong. You've came yeah. too far. Mm. Yeah. You're too well liked yeah. to yeah. to go back yeah. 10 steps. It's okay yeah. to take a step yeah. back, to but breathe. If I, if I was out now, James, this is serious, not ego. If I was out now, I, I would say I'm, I, I wouldn't go out. I said to probation the other day, I rang and they said, how are you? And I rang because I like to check in. I say, right now, yeah, I'm the, I, I went straight away, I wanted to go to court and see this geezer, I'm going to look him in the eye. See, that's that part comes back. Mm. I thought, oh, I'm gonna, I fucking want to destroy you, man. I want to look in your eye and I, I want to destroy you. You understand me? And I thought, mm. Tone, not everyone, I, but I don't want to destroy him because I'm not, it's not, it's, listen, it, 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 everything in this world gets dealt with accordingly without you stepping in. You're mm, not God. Mm. You can't go around doing people. You can't go around doing that you understand me yeah. it's not for you to take uh, mm. a life yeah if you listen to a lot of our criminal bullshit yeah mm. someone gets like done we and we joke about it in a bar mm. go to you about johnny yeah he got stabbed through his ass and leg but he, he's got he's indoor slippers on tonight he's out and he's got stitches you think that's that funny yeah 
Yeah, it's, it's crazy, just like, isn't it? Yeah, or oh, they shot his toe off. He's got one toe now. We all laugh. It's fucking mentalness, isn't mm. it? But at least you're recognising yeah. all that, though. This is the thing. You know what I mean? You're coming away. Yeah. I think there's already a big change happening, yeah? Like I say, I watch, I watch your podcast yeah. just to get a, a feel for, you know, what you've yeah. done and, and stuff. And, uh, and I do see, you know, that you've got a lot of remorse for what you've done. Yeah. You know, um, I, I do feel, you know, um, you know, there could be still some issues with unforgiveness and stuff. You know, yeah. what I mean, of different there is stuff. stuff right? yeah. Yeah. yeah, but yeah. but see, see that, that see yeah. see that. You know what happens with people, right? Sometimes they come out of prison, right? But they're still not free of prison. Yeah. Yeah, they're still in prison, and and a lot of people, but most don't people come out are, and use your either. And mm. you let someone be in there that long, come out and fucking use you, mate. Mm. And they and they and they're, they're like weaker than you. They're scared of you, but they want to just be under your name of like my true mate. who's come up with me today. He's a true mate. Yeah, he's like just himself for me. He talks how he wants to talk to me. When people bullshit around me, I don't like it. I smell mm. it, and mm. that's you, you know that's the man to watch. It's the man who goes yes to you every time. Mm. They're the ones. Okay. Yeah, they're the ones. Mm. They're the ones. It's, it's hatred, full of it. Mm. Seriously, you just got. I think you just got to distance yourself yeah. from them people, aren't you? And yeah. like you say, you know, it's like a CIA thing. You yeah. know, stay. There's people and places you got to yeah. stay away from. You know, what but I mean? if you didn't to make some around, people like, lucky, you know? if you've been a criminal and you've made it, and it, it, in a way it works for them because they can leave it alone. But you've, they've made their money. Yeah. It's worse when you leave it alone, but you ain't made nothing because you spent too long in jail and mm. you missed the gravy chain. Mm. But I, I would you say I'd rather leave it alone and not have any money from your moral gainings, yeah? Would your path be a lot better? Do you understand what I'm a saying? Lot better. It'd be a lot better. A lot better. Yeah. yeah. We was we was in the homeless hostel, like I said, right? We lost all our money, right? Yeah. Our cars, they took our car and yeah. collected our cars. We went from cop to estate in Epping, yeah. right? Rod Stewart is our neighbour over the other yeah. side of the estate and all that. And we ended up in the homeless hostel. We had nothing, you know what I mean? Yeah. And I've got to tell you, we was actually quite happy, yeah. you know, in the homeless hostel. The, yeah. they, when we first turned up, the bird in the office said, oh yeah, you know, you, you really like it. And we're like, are you having a laugh? Like we've just come from cop to a state. Why are we going to be happy yeah. here? Like, yeah, where's know? the tennis court? Like, yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, <laughs> yeah fucking yeah. It's, it's in the YMCA, mate. Like, yeah. Yeah. Um, but actually, yeah. she's right. We made some really good friends. Yeah. People that have been through similar stuff to us. That have, you know, um, been broken, but mm -hmm. you know, we lost all their money and stuff like that. You know, made life lifelong friends out of there. And 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 yeah, it was all right. We didn't have all the stress of. Bill's coming for every five minutes and b b bailiff's knocking on the door and all that, you know? Is that why you thought going to prison was good then? Because it's like the pressures of always having to step up to the plate, Tony. Yeah, always. Having to do damage. Yeah. If you didn't kill always. that man the first time, it's you'd have killed someone if, anyway. If you this believe? is known. I've got, well, my mates come here with me today. Obviously, I mentioned him because he knows me. So I, I don't, see me, sometimes I don't tell stories because they're so, if I told stories, sometimes I write a book, I think some people go, fucking hell, mate. Did that really happen? Yeah, you think yeah. I fucking want bragging rights, mate? It's like, it's just like that. It's I look back, I sit there now, sometimes and when I'm with the kids and that, I look, I look at myself, and think, how the fuck did I like get through that? Like, fuck me, how did I get through it? It's like mm. madness. It's mm. like uh, being on a roller coaster and it comes off the rails, then you hit the wind as you hit the uh, what's it called the uh, tracks, like yeah, you hit the tracks, bounce off another ride, smash your head open, you get back up and you go again the next day. Right. That's how it is. Yeah. Most I have about what two fights a week, every week, all the time, wow. every time. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Why is forgiveness important, Kev? Yeah, yeah forgiveness is really important because um, yeah. I've, I've forgive yourself. Always, forgive yourself yeah. is is a big one because if you don't forgive yourself, right? The Bible says that we've got to love our neighbour like ourselves. Now, all the, all these things that the Bible says is for really good reasons, and I didn't really understand it properly until I started walking in it myself, you know. But self forgiveness is a big thing, and I, and I do feel yeah, that's what I kind of got from you as well that you you, you might be battling with. But what happens is, like I say. Um, what this this ain't my line. I've got it online, like. But it says it's like unforgiveness is like taking poison and expecting someone else to die when you've got unforgiveness for someone else, you know. Um, but it's such a big one, honestly. I've I've, I've prayed for someone. I, I, this guy uh, was on crack cocaine most of his life. He's in his forties now, you know in and out of prison and different stuff to get for his habit and stuff. And uh, and so I prayed for him and he had issues with his dad and that. And I, I said to him, you know, it's really important that you forgive him. But when you pray forgiveness, I took him for a simple prayer, but it don't have to be certain words. It's just got to be from your heart. Yeah. That's it. If you pray from your heart, it sets your prayers on fire, you know. And uh, so I said to him, look, just just forgive forgive your dad. So he'd he done this prayer from his heart. And, uh, and that was it. So six weeks later, um, 
he said to me, oh, Kev, he said, uh, oh, I've just been looking through some pictures um, and I come across one of my dad. And I said, uh, and he said, oh, it just made me smile. I said, oh, that's nice. That's nice, mate. You know what I mean? And he said, you don't understand. He said, normally if I come across a picture of my dad, I get really angry. And I said, well, this is because you've completely forgiven him. Now, some people can say they forgive him. It starts with the words. The emotions might not be there straight away, you know, but you've got to keep on each day. Lord, I forgive that person or Lord, I forgive myself each day. I can't tell you how powerful it is. Um, it's a powerful weapon for the enemy, for the devil. Yeah, powerful weapon if you're in unforgiveness. Because what happens is um, he can attack you. He can attack you with sickness and disease. Like the devil can't just, people think, oh, the devil's so powerful and he can do this and that. Well, he can do certain things if we allow him to, if we give him legal rights to do it. He can't just attack us willy-nilly. And unforgiveness is a really big sin and, it, and it's an open door for the enemy to attack you. So, uh, it, you know, if you get nothing else from this tonight, a massive one I say to you is is to start walking in forgiveness for yourself. Now you could start with it, right? If if it's just like I say, if it's for someone else, you, you pray that prayer. You might I, I say to people, pray it for thirty days, morning and night. Lord, I forgive them. And the word says that we should bless our enemies and we should pray for those who curse us and spitefully use us. Yeah. So a few of the words you've been using, you know. So we've got to pray for them. We've got, to, you know, so that they'll change. The only way the, the it's going to ever break, the chain's going to break and it's going to change is for us to pray for them. Now, if, if someone does say to us and we go, you know what, I'm going to go back and do it back to them. That, you're never going to get change out of that. The only way is for you to forgive them and to bless them. Lord, I pray that they change, Lord. I pray that they're not the same person anymore. Lord, I pray, pray for your salvation. This is what we're meant to pray. And then you see the difference. You Honestly, I can't tell you. If you, do, if you stick to it for 30 days, and anyone listening got the same issues, right? But for 30 days, morning and night, um, watch the change that happens in you. And then, uh, 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 you know, but that's like I say, it's a massive one. But if it's for yourself, right? You don't forgive yourself and stuff. It's the same, same process. Lord, Lord, I forgive myself. If you've got self-hate issues and stuff where you, you hate yourself for what you've done or whatever, then... then it's powerful, even if you don't use Bible scriptures, just to say something in the mirror, positive mm -hmm. every day. And it's hard positive. for people because, listen, yeah. we're all struggling. We're yeah. all, our lives are all yeah. fucked up anyway. Yeah. We're all in a bit of a mess. Right. But yeah. people listening to you will be thinking, I'm not trying that Bible bashing shit. But yeah. if your life's not already in a mess, why not? Why but not? I'm, not, I'm open right. to what everything. You're trying to yeah. try a bit of gear or get something else. So what, there's no different to trying something else. Yeah. People say, I want to try the Bible bash shit, but then they put the bottle down then or something then. Yeah, but you yeah. know, but you know the other thing, yeah. Tone. Right? What's really mad about it all? They'll say that, but then they'll go and to a spiritualist or a psychic oh, or a medium. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I've I mean? I've done that. Try to, <laughs> well, it's so try, to, try to hear people who's yeah. been murdered so or died in the family or friends to just to get a bit of peace. You see a white feather, or you'll see a robin yeah. in the garden. You'll say that's them giving me a sign. We all look for mm. signs. We all want inner peace. Oh, I just learned from your last podcast. Yeah, I mean, I don't like uh, sex. I don't like rapists. Don't like sex offenders, and that happened to my cousin. Wow. Yeah. Oh yeah, and that was weird. I, I said to James, "When well, isn't it funny?" I went, I was going to James, this, oh, "Their traits I will never leave. I don't like, I don't like people in form. If you if you don't want to be a criminal, I find that it's like to run with the thieves, and then you want to give evidence to people. And that to me, that's a no no. Mm. That that's like the worst for me. It's a trait I can never leave. I won't mm. be able to give anything up or anyone up. Yeah. Mm. But if you have that in your weakness in you, but then don't do it. Don't because it, you're yeah. involved, you're to blame. Don't mm. throw it on everyone else. Mm. And then when I said I don't like uh, them kind of people, then that happened to my cousin. And look, to me, it's like that kind of horrific murder what happened to my cousin is like, it's like, I'm thinking, look, watch this, I'm thinking this week, that's one in a billion. I wouldn't want it to happen to anyone else's. No. You think, why her? But then you think, why would you want that to happen to anyone's daughter? Anyone. Yeah. But you mm. think that's one in a billion. Why, why is it my family that's just happened to? Yeah. Do you understand me? Yeah, I do understand it. Because uh, I know, always this... have my little prayer. Every night, yeah. always. People never know that. Always, every night I have a prayer. I've gone religious mm. deep in full Saturn Eye security. Yeah, I was the only one who used to go because villains feel it's ashamed to go to a church. And you got me? But the priest yeah. I met was from Ireland. He was great. Mm. And I say to him, uh, I say to him, uh, brother, I said, know what, mate? He used to bless me every night, put a hand on your head because I just needed something to get you through yeah. the sentence, yeah? Mm. I mean, I don't stop sinning every day. I said, all these sins, I'm in prison, I'm still sinning. Mm. Yeah, but it's like, but it's you're hard. Human, though. You're yeah, human, yeah. Like say hello to mistakes. someone you don't yeah. like. Yeah. It, it's like, that's what they say. It mm. makes you stronger to say hello to someone you don't mm. like. Do you feel cussed, Tony? Yeah, 
Yeah. Because yeah. it's like, you, you're such a good guy, man. Can you just see goodness, man? I know you've done bad shit, but you're genuinely one of the best I've met. I genuinely mean that. I'm not going to say that to every fucking Tom, Dick and Harry, but over the nearly 200 guests I've interviewed, you're the one I've always kept a bond with. Thank you. Things, we're always trying yeah. to get something to yeah. it's hard because yeah. I sense you're at a crossroads yeah. brother I genuinely yeah, do I feel it but yeah. you have got yeah. so much goodness in you yeah. even now you're constantly battling not to do bad things yeah, of course. are you finding that hard to fucking really hard I'll tell you really hard I do yeah I do oh, it's, like, it's like I said the probation if that probation I'd be in a lot of trouble mm. or I buzzed you the other day for some reason I buzzed you about the thingy mm-hmm. Because I needed a bit of support there, so I went to you and went, "Oh, look, what's happened?" Didn't I? Yeah, yeah. Because mm. it was a bit. Just even for him to message me back was enough for me to go. Someone's on me, on me, like got yeah. me feelings with it all. Do you understand me? Yeah, I totally understand that. But, yeah. yeah, but then like it's now I'm carrying the raw stuff with me now, so I, I feel like I wouldn't mm. like to be in a position now because I feel that sh- when I get like this, it's pain. I feel like. It's like I could lift that table up, and I, I've the strength for me is unbelievable. I can march on. It's like I want to go mad, or do you understand me? I want yeah. someone to jump out and have it with me. But I've gone past that. I'm not doing yeah. that. But it's that fucking. Uh, it's you know. It's just it's mm. just hard for me. Mm, I can ima- uh, Well, I can't even imagine. You know what I mean? I, I can't even imagine how painful it must be for yeah. you to go through that. You know. But um, you know. Uh, it's still like you say. It's only just just happened, and it's very raw for it's you. It's hard to you know? change, you know. Let me mm. tell you what. It's hard to change. Mm. Tell most people who even don't live our life, me and yours, just to change their behaviour around their wife. I say it's hard to change. Yeah, it is. They go yeah. change what? They go ask your wife because you never asked her. Most us men are the worst. They go home and they never ask the wife how they feel. They go, "You're right. Yeah, I'm all right." They just don't want to talk about how mm. she feels or nothing. Mm. Do you yeah, understand totally me? That, yeah. It's like, you know, we're stuck yeah, up our own life asses what's sometimes. Life in a mysterious way, as they say. Like, yeah, we were supposed, we were supposed yeah, to um, yeah, yeah. do this interview two weeks ago. Mm, and yeah. obviously we've got the dates mixed yeah, up. Yeah, of course. And obviously yeah, all this yeah. stuff has yeah. happened. So yeah, thanks, you're so. obviously to be here for a reason, brother, at this yeah, time. Yeah, thank you. Um, yeah, yeah. yeah. We'll leave it down to date. Yes. Yeah, well. But when did you find out about your cousin, Tone? I got a message, and this is weird. I didn't tell my cousin's dad this. I went to press on mum and Marie's number was underneath and I thought, you know what, I need to ring Marie. This is how it fucks my head up. This is the true story. I thought, I wonder how she is. I ain't rung her for ages, yeah? Mm. And then the next day he sent messages they found Marie dead. So spiritually in my head, I think that's fucking mental. Like, how's that? Well, you got to I was thinking about her the night before that happened to her. That's 100%. Wow. I swear, look, that, that's wow. why it's done me. I was thinking, I didn't tell no one. I said, I was thinking about it. I went to my mum the wow. other day. I thought, wow, right, and that happened. Did you talk sometimes I think something you get mm. is telling you something, but you don't know how to respond to that. It's weird. Mm. No, straight. Yeah. 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 Maybe the Lord was leading you on it. Yeah, you know what I mean? yeah. The, the thing is, you know what What we find yeah. is... And the, then you're guilty because we don't see our families like we should do. Yeah, but that's we're just... All, we're all entrenched we're all guilty in our, yeah, of that, aren't but we? It's not know? good to be just yeah. all guilty of that, is it? No, it's not. Why it's should not. we turn up at funerals and go and see them when we should be there from all the time? Yeah. Do you understand me? Life, yeah. life yeah. kind of sometimes throws things in your way. You can't always. You no, know, it's like, true. Yeah, yeah, I sort of see, you know, my grandkids, I'd, I'd love to see them like every weekend, you know what I mean, and spend time with yeah. them, but I can't always, you know, we're always out busy. Normally weekends we're playing yeah. for people, um, but, you know, yeah. it could be that my daughters come to church with the kids and stuff, yeah. you know, but, or we go out for a meal or something mm. like that, you know, but, um, but yeah, this, this is the thing, but, um, yeah, it's, uh, yeah, the it's book, If I'll do this book, I, I think this book, mm. I've got to do it because, they just then I've got to shut it and then I've got to leave it. That's what I feel. Mm. It's like a little holy ground for me, mate. Yeah, for anybody I, I think it's for, yeah. impossible to me, and I, I think I, I believe in myself, and I'm in a good sense that I could write the powerfulest book ever. Mm. That's how I feel. Look, people go, "All right, mate," but I do know. You should do it. Though, story, you should push through it. You know, I can't do it, sometimes because it ain't how I want to do it. It's got to be like if he's talking to me and I'm doing it, it and me and you and him, it come out and you was recording it, it'd be powerful. Mm. But you've got to catch me on that day to be to, yeah. to have that powerful story. For anybody watching who reads books, people have came forward, but it's trying to get someone you trust. Yeah. People are full of shit as well. Everybody yeah. promises yeah. the world. But if somebody's watching, it can do Tony's book, yeah. get involved and drop yeah. me a message and we can and get it I sorted. Said, I met the man from Barcelona and he yeah. also said, but mm-hmm. it's, uh, it's a bit hard where he is from, but I'm going to discard him. It's like, 
you know, yeah. I'm, this world's a bit new to me and I've got to find out everything first before I do anything. Because it's like... So you don't know what's going to come off the back of that either, do you? No, you know what I mean? TV no. and... Do you know what I mean? Documentaries, you, yeah, you could be put, you know, right back on your feet really quickly, you know what I mean? So, so yeah, just, yeah. just keep being positive with as it. As fast as your life can turn for the worst, it can also yeah, turn for the, uh, the better, just as fast also. you just got to keep pushing through, Tony. You've come through mm. so much in life, yeah. brother, that you just need to push through again. Keep swimming against the waves and just eventually just make sure you don't sink which is fucking hard Definitely. it's easy for anybody to say but for the shit that you're going through now and still being here to tell your stories mm. it shows you what kind of character you are Thank you. Mm. Yeah. because you ended up watching a youtube video but did that not fuck your mind up with watching your cousin get Wish killed I, watched it. I didn't mean to i thought what am i doing because that's the life but modern life now i don't i didn't realize I, i'm not with this world now years mm. ago you heard it on the radio or you heard it on the six o'clock news now cameras are everywhere this yeah. matter fucking done it in, on camera and people bang wow. it all over YouTube yeah it's horrific to watch but if you want to watch it watch it and I thought oh I want to wow, see the geezer on, like an idiot yeah. I thought I want to see who this man is oh, I wanted to see him and when I looked at him I thought oh, I want to fucking hurt you mate because I watched him pick her up and chuck her uh, down mate I thought mate fucking hell what, that, that time oh, mm. it's hard because I would annihilated him mate seriously mm. see if we all say what's this now what the stage is powerful you, we say we change and all that, yeah? If someone picks your wife up right now then and slings her over, mm. whether you're on life licence or not, that's the real change. Right, have you got me? That is yeah, hard well, let, let not me, to respond to your kids you. or family mm. getting hurt. If, if, right or wrong, James? If someone yeah. done that in front yeah. of me... That's a different thing, yeah. If someone done that in front of me, then I yeah. would respond. Oh, As, a pastor, yeah. 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 As a pastor, yeah. As a pastor. No, 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 we're, 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 you've got to yeah. defend your... Yeah. If someone's attacking my wife mm. in front of me, yeah. then I'm attacking them. Yeah. Uh, there's no way I'm going to let my wife be attacked or my children. That's, that's mm. a right. I respect you for an honest answer. So that's not a sin or anything? That's not like... Well, I don't think... See, I don't think God would look at it and say oh, you've done such a bad thing because you've protected your wife yeah. or children. Mm -hmm. But they still no, fucking I mean, charge you. Now, 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 if I start, yeah. I'll do him and I start stamping on his head after, yeah. maybe that's another story. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. But if I if I defend my wife or my children, that's, a, that's another story. Yeah. yeah, of course, 100%. Mm -hmm. I, don't, I, don't think God, I, I don't think I'd be judged for that, for defending them. Was that like your same. instant reaction, Tony, just to get revenge? Yeah, it was. Yeah, mm. I told was my that that yeah. I said, yeah, yeah, it's burning me, but I've, I have actually let that go. I have, revenge no, is enough, truth. yeah. I, I enough. don't see it and I, I've had to let that go because yeah. it, it will eat me up otherwise. I was going to yeah. say, let he'll me do just... His, he'll do his time and he will, mm. he'll come up calmer, he will face what he'll have to yeah. face in there. Let it will happen to him. Let me reiterate what I'm saying there as well so that we don't get misconstrued with it obviously if it happened and, and you wasn't there to stop it yeah, yeah then that's another story because then it's, it, it's you've had time to think about you've you know you've you're not you wasn't there to you're intervening ain't going to stop it no. it's only going to create yeah. more stuff do you know what i mean so but if, if you was there you'd be perfectly yeah. welcome to uh, i think to protect them you know what i mean but but certainly not to get revenge is another no i don't yeah, want yeah. Oh, seriously i know, I, I know like, you don't i know i, I know say that. now i, I, I don't want to but i don't but I think mm. let let the uh, let the uh, let God does everything that they deals with you their own way. Yeah, you're you're like people think you come out and you think I've done my sentence. You come out. Let me tell you what, mate. I think it's work for me coming out is a is an effing nightmare, mate. It's yeah. hard. It's the changes I've had to go through is unbelievable. It's, it's going to get better though. Yeah, Tony. yeah it was getting get better, better, and then yeah. that happened. Yeah, but so like know. it's like you know. Yeah. It, it, it's just like you know I, I, I feel like I ain't got a purpose sometimes mm. I want a purpose so I think the book's a purpose mm. you, you understand me it's like yeah. my behaviour has done that with James I should have marched on from there but I didn't I didn't mm. go social media no more I've started cutting off again so you got. Oh, I've got to learn to flow with it and keep going. But it is hard as well, especially because if you've confidence. been in the. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. it's, it's that's difficult. Don't. Years ago. Yeah, but that's yeah, difficult. You're not totally. you can't, in no. You're identifying with these things. You yeah. know what needs to be done. Yeah. Like after this again, you ride the wave. But it's you're not. You've been missing for fucking over twenty years. Yeah. You've been stuck in a fucking four by six, not mm. knowing what's happening. So it's yeah. not just a case of getting all this attention. Thousands yeah. of people messaging you and think, because yeah. I can't fucking deal with it. I don't I'm know how you deal with it, and, I'm a, and I'm oh, no. still battle every day. I, I do you know what I mean? So it. yeah. it's just one of those things. That, and they're good people and all, lovely yeah. people. They deserve more from you. But sometimes mm. you don't think you deserve it. That's, that's, the, right. that's the yeah. thing. Yeah, mm. yeah. Does even that happen to your cousin Tony? When you know the effects that has on families, did it yeah. bring up 
the murder that yeah, you've done to then think how those percent. families yeah. feel? 100 million percent, yeah. 100 million percent, yeah. Is that where your battle comes in though, Tony? Yeah, because it, it's the first time I've been on the battle treatment side of it. You understand me? Mm. Yeah. yeah. It's yeah. not a nice feeling. No, I can imagine. Because someone went the other day, yeah, but we do what we do. That's not the same. It's the same. It's someone's going to kill. It's yeah, the same thing, mate. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's still bringing trauma to another family, in it? But... Like I say, you, you know, you, you, you've you clearly in remorse for it. If you come out and you was like, yeah, I've done that, whatever, I've served my time, that's another story. But you're clearly in remorse for what you've done. Do you know what I mean? And and you made the mistakes. You were a lot younger then, weren't you? You know what I mean? You made your mistakes. You've you've uh, served your time and, and, and you're coming out and you wanted to change. Yeah. You two are going to connect to, I believe, you've exchanged numbers. And yeah, definitely. Yeah, 100%. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Like but he's got a, if you look at him and look at me, that'd be funny. I'm a very deep person. He, he, he's, his energy is very like it's comfortable Calm. Oh, I, yeah. I want that and I think mm -hmm. I don't get it but you could have it yeah it's really simple yeah. Yeah, I'll watch little... him on telly and know when he's having a struggling day and no one else would know yeah. I yeah. would yeah. Oh, wow. how mad's that mm -hmm. really? if I went to him on what day he'd go fuck off I can't believe yeah. you I'm deep I will look at you and think you're struggling mm -hmm. today yeah. yeah, even when he goes, boom, you're on, he, he could get through an interview, but he'd be struggling with his own yeah. stuff Demons. still. Yeah, you know yeah, what I mean? yeah, 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 yeah. I've seen him, mate. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah. so it, it, before we go off it again, right, let me tell you, right, it's very simple, right? Yeah. Very simple what you do, right? Like I said, this is what I say to people, you've got nothing to lose, right? Um, it's just a few words, invite the Lord into your heart, yeah, and just recognise what he's done for you, yeah, yeah? Uh, and ask him to come and change you and to give you the peace that you, yeah. that you're after. Yeah. yeah, it's a few few words. If it don't if it don't mean nothing, yeah. it don't matter, no. does it? But look at Nigel Ben, Jimmy Tibbs, all of them. Yeah, I met, met they're, Nigel they're Ben. Like, yeah. Look Jimmy at Nigel Ben now, changed his life around. Peter, just yeah. absolutely yeah. changed his life. Around. He used to train at the Peacock. And he that was as well, doing yeah. all the wrong things, and he's just he's a different man, mate. Mm, he's just, yeah. So I think, well, why ain't that fucking message come to me yet, mate? Because I'm still waiting. But maybe maybe you weren't ready. Yeah. Maybe you'd have got it then. And not not received it properly, you know. Yeah, I mean, right. I had that myself, you know. When I was in prison, I I yeah. I'd done the prayer of salvation, but I said this, I won't go over all I've the stuff. I've gone deep into the Catholic again when I've been in prison. I've gone yeah, right well, on it. I've done the Bible studies again, mate. You got yeah. me. I've done it all. Do you understand me? Have you tried Christianity? No, no, I haven't. No. I, 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 like I said, my 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 mum, God rest her soul, was from Malta. All Catholics. My dad's from Dublin. Yeah. All Catholics, yeah, yeah. and uh, and so that was my background. But they weren't really practicing. Most of them call themselves yeah. Catholic, but don't really practice it. You know what I mean? Yeah. And so and so for me, yeah. but I've been sort of brought up with that all my life, and and it's transformed my life. Yeah, it but really you see, has. you look. I, I can't. I'm here for you today, right? This is what I'm going to say to you right now. I'm staring right at you, yeah, and your presence is like you're fucking like smiley, and you're relaxed. Mm. Do you understand me? Yeah. That's how they all talk. You, uh, the Jimmy Tibbs. Yes. Yeah, you've got yeah. what I ain't got. But and not even, I, I look at James and think even James ain't got yet what you've yeah, got. Yeah, I'm nowhere near that. Yeah, 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 I'm still battling. Of course, yeah, I'm still battling. I can see it all free. Yeah, I'm yeah, deep, yeah, yeah. mate. I know I haven't got what yeah. you've got yet. Do you want it? Yeah, of course I do, yeah. Do you want us to pray now? No, no, not okay. now. No. Because okay. it'd be wrong for me to pray now because there's a, uh, it'd be just doing it because I'm doing it to. No problem. Yeah, I want to do it when I'm ready to do it. Yeah. All right. Well, Does that we make can sense? talk yeah. and we can, you know yeah. what I mean? You, you, yeah. you know, I'll give him a number yeah. and stuff and we yeah. can talk on the phone. And, yeah. And, I'd uh, like to pray for Marie as well, definitely. Mm. Yeah. I went to do that the other day and I thought, why did I do it? Because he's just well, madness. Well, could, yeah. I, could we say a little prayer for Marie? Is that love all right? To. Yeah. yeah so, love so, to. so um, what it is, there's a, there's a scripture in the Bible that says that I looked for someone to heal the land, yeah. uh, to stand in the gap, uh, to heal the land, but I couldn't find no one, yeah? Mm. So what we, we believe, look, I don't know, 100%, obviously we'll find out uh, when we're before the Lord, what, who's got in and who hasn't, you know? Yeah. But but I'd just like to say, just a little prayer for her to say, look, you know, to stand in the gap for her, yeah? So yeah, so Father God, Lord, I just I just love you, Lord. I just love you, Lord. I thank you for this opportunity to talk about you and your kingdom and to share it uh, with my brothers as well, Lord. And um, Father, we just lift up Marie to you, Lord, and we, we lift up this horrific thing that's happened to her, Lord. But, but Father, we really pray, um, Lord, we stand in the gap um, between her and you, Lord, and we repent of any sins she's had, Lord, anything she's ever done wrong, Lord, and we ask, Lord, we ask um, that you allow her into your kingdom of heaven, Father God. We ask, Lord, that you welcome her in 
um, uh, and so that a, a family may have peace as well, Lord. And we ask this in the mighty name of Jesus, Lord. And we trust with our faith that it's done, Lord, that she's there in heaven with you right now, Lord, comforting her in Jesus' mighty name. But Father, we also lift up uh, my brother Tony, Lord, and all the family. Uh, we pray, Lord, this terrible traumatic time that they're all going through lord and what they've had to hear and endure about what's happened to uh, uh marie lord and we just we just pray for peace we pray for peace lord uh the peace that surpasses all understanding to fall upon the family right now lord uh fall upon the family that they may have that peace in their heart lord that although she's gone through what she's gone through lord that she's there in heaven with you right now yeah. in jesus mighty name we pray thank you lord Amen. 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 Thank you. Yeah. yeah. Lovely. Thanks. That's nice. Okay, yeah, thank you. yeah, that's lovely. Thanks yeah. a lot. No, Appreciate yeah. that, mate. Yeah. yeah you're welcome, Appreciate that. Yeah. yeah. But yeah. Marie, but yeah, powerful. But you can you actually look like a pastor or someone who I yeah. don't know what some of the I'll know, I just look triggered like. that off in you. Yeah. yeah. Look at me, he looks really he looks on form. Yeah, yeah, he knows what I'm saying. But that's the that's, not me that's, the, that's yeah. the mask. That's yeah, the but yeah. That's our mask. Yeah. I'll look at him and I'll know he listen. He, and then he gets people they want to jump they, you think fucking hell where's it in for me science yeah. and I think I wonder how he's doing with his demons right now under pressure because yeah. uh, he that's when he eats mm -hmm. us when the demons yeah, yeah, come yeah. on you yes you think you know what mm -hmm. fuck this mate wallet boom yeah yeah, yeah. yeah that's the devil like himself say. mate that's yeah, the devil that's what he does. I he have it sometimes I sit there and I have mm. a thought where to go Oh mate, I can't believe you've turned out like this. Like mug, mate, how can you let a good talk? And you, that's the devil in your head. And then mm. you get a good side. Go well, I'm happy. I'm like this. Yeah, mm. do you understand me? Yeah, yeah. You could, the good one weighs my bad one out right now. Mm. And uh, the only reason I look, I don't never even lie to me patient, mate. Yeah. Sometimes I, I find it hard not to have a tear up. I do. Mm. Because I just want to be left alone. Sometimes I might walk past somebody. I think they're mad. And they walk past me. And go, what, right, mate? And I think, what the fuck? Like, I that's think, what these are about? Just doing that to that's me. That's going to get easier, though. Yeah, but stuff. now I'll just go, you mm. know what? I put my head down, mate, yeah? And I was in a car mm. the other week, and a geezer went to, uh, to Daniel, yeah, fucking this. And he didn't see me in the car. And I thought, do you know what? I really wanted to jump out. But you know what it is? It was nice that I didn't jump out. Amazing. Yeah. It took a lot more strength yeah. to not jump out. And the only thing you've got know, to learn is not to have the thought, do you know what I could do to you? That is a muggy fault. Because yeah. that's, the, that's the same thought that drives you. Why don't you say, do you know what I ain't going to do to you? Mm. Do you understand me? You know yeah. what? But the thing is, what the devil does, right? He'll yeah. come at you in, in the areas yeah. that you once had. We won't say you got them there. We once had weaknesses in. And he'll try and come at them very areas. And he'll put people that will cut you up. And, he'll put, you know, I've had it myself, you know, because yeah. I used to have yeah. quite bad impatience and stuff and yeah. you know I find that very hard to find now mm. I'd say you're very patient man yeah. funny isn't it yeah it's nuts but it, yeah. but I was really impatient and um, you know and, and had anger issues and stuff and like a lot of rejection and different stuff you know I've had my own battles and stuff and I'd always get these things happening and I think like I've been walking down the street minding my yeah. own business and someone would just start me and I think, it's only because you're though? looking for it though it's like me sometimes you're looking too hard for it but if you don't, so you, you don't have to look for it sometimes it's just because you're looking for it sometimes no you know yeah. you know. from when I was really young and that I used to get yeah. it a lot and I used to go oh and I try and explain yeah. to them but you know I, I don't know trouble like you know and the next thing I'd know they'd carry on and then I'd, I'd react yeah. to it you know what I mean and I, but so I've been through all the same stuff so it's a hard one yeah. but you just got to keep resisting it because the devil wants you to get in a fight. He yeah. wants you to be back in prison and yeah. he wants to destroy your life. That's what he wants to do. And he wants to take as many people as he can with, with, yeah. with you, yeah. right? But you've got to resist it. Yeah. I know it's easy said than done, you know, but you, you will, because I can see that you already want to change. Yeah. It's already yeah. in you. Yeah. You're already on a really, you've you're got your foot on the path. Yeah. You know what I mean? And exactly. you just got to carry on walking down it and, you know, you will get change. Yeah. So how can we get Tony there? How what change? Including myself, like I'm on the path, I believe, but mm. I can slip back onto the other path very fast, but I don't act on those traumas and demons yeah. with drink, drugs, anger, frustration, yeah. manipulating women to get sex, all the bullshit of the day. Like I'm, but I'm still battling. Like, yeah. I don't wake up and fucking, you hear the birds chirping, I'm thinking, I can't be fucked yeah, yeah. getting out of bed today. Wow. But then I can put on a suit, go for a sunbed, people yeah. go, oh, you're fucking doing great, you're looking great. Yeah. But I still feel as if... You know feel, inside yeah, you, yeah. Feel you, you can't... You know yeah, inside yeah. you, mate. Do you know what yeah. I mean? What? Yeah. You know they say, yeah. take it one day at a time. Yeah. yeah. My behaviour is impeccable right now. Do you understand mm. me? It's, it's, it's on a level of... And, and the people who love me, my family, I think, don't they see how hard I'm trying? But the other day, for me family, it was really nice. These are what I've never had before. They yeah. go, well done, we know you're trying hard. You get a text message. And I actually started having a tear in me. I thought, oh, I need to hear that. 
Yeah. I fucking really need encouragement. Oh, yeah, yes, that, my yeah. emotion there. I really need to hear that, mate. Mm. You understand me? Because so they are watching. You think no one's watching you trying to change. Are, yeah, yeah. And then they go, so you've done fucking really well. You, you know, you know yeah. saying, here's the thing, right? Yeah. So so I didn't get my change because of me, because Kev's so yeah. great that he done. He really changed. And, and No, I didn't. It wasn't because of me. It's because of the Holy Spirit. So when you get spirit-filled, yeah, the Holy Spirit lives within your spirit. Your spirit gets sealed. Yeah, so you can't be possessed. You can be oppressed still, but you can't get possessed. Yeah. yeah? And the Holy Spirit lives in your spirit. Yeah. yeah? And that is what brings about change. Because now all of a sudden you have different feelings. Yeah. You, you've got more feelings of love and, uh, or, you know, you feel the, God don't come to condemn you. If, if you're being condemned, that's the devil. God comes to convict you because he's such a loving father. If you fall, you make a mistake. What would we do with one of our kids? If one of our kids was like, yeah. you know, just learning yeah. to walk and they fall down on the floor, would we smack them and say, get up, what are you doing? No, that's right. No, you'd go, no. come here, darling, yeah. come up, you know, you know try yeah. again, you know? But we, but we all, that's what God we does. We all our us. children's lives as well, you know? We mm. make them sometimes, you shouldn't interfere what we do. You, don't, you can't make them tough, let them be who they want to be. Yeah. We start to, when they get to seven or eight, you know, we do, mm. we, like, they see a spider, you scream, they scream at a spider, you put all your traits into them. That's exactly so what fucking happens. Wrong. Yeah, that's exactly you know what I mean? Let happens. your kid or boy be who he wants mm. to be. If he don't like boxing, he don't like football, let him be, let him be who he wants to be. If he mm. wants to put a Spider-Man suit on a climbing house, let him be that. Fun, funny you know enough, my little boy, uh, yeah. James, he, he did, yeah, another James, he he did, um, used to put a Spider-Man outfit on. Yeah. My daughter, Scarlett, I got yeah. Scarlett, Nancy and James, you know, yeah. my three kids. And um, Scarlett, uh, we was convinced we was having a boy. Yeah. Scarlett came along. You know, oh, you're carrying it a certain way. And then the next per yeah. next one said, no, no, definitely this time, you're carrying it yeah. different to the last time. Oh, I can't time. stand all that. It's a boy, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. It, yeah. You just can't tell, right? Yeah. And so and so both times we, we, we had our two girls first and then my son, but he didn't want to, he's really, really clever, my boy. Like, he's like super clever, like, you know, and um, he's he's he didn't want to do all that stuff. My daughter, Scarlett, I thought I'll have a boy first. Yeah. They'll, I'll train them up to be a ninja. Any problems, yeah. right? I'll have, yeah. you know, I ain't got to worry because I'm a bit of, a, was always yeah, a worry. You're not asking them what they want to do, though, even no. at that young age. Oh, you're no. enforcing that on them. No, well, I used yeah. to come, I, I used to, funny enough, from yeah. your neck of the woods, I used to box down the yeah. peacock and stuff yeah, and tra right. training yeah. stuff yeah. down there, you know, for, a few, for quite a few years. Yeah. And um, and so I'd come home and my daughter would go, Dad, put your hands up. Dad, put your hands yeah, up. Yeah. And I'd, I'd put my hands up like that until yeah. it got to the stage. I was going, babe, I better get the pads out. She was hurting my yeah. hands like, you know what yeah. I mean? She, you know, and, and I trained yeah. it. But then later on, I thought, yes, yeah, really good. And she was having a bit of ag in school. And I said, babe, yeah. don't, don't suffer it. Remember no, I taught the boxing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She went to a school, she didn't know her soul and she was getting all this egg. Yeah. And I'm saying, you know, babe, you're... Yeah. and then all it done was, yeah. it weren't like our day, you'd have a fight and it was all over. Then they're coming back with their older mates and it, yeah. <laughs> she was like 13, they're coming yeah. back with two 17 year olds. Yeah. She had a fight within the street, my Scarlett yeah. and, a, and another girl. Yeah. And it was like, just nuts. Every week I was like, yeah. I keep my trainers on ready to run out and yeah. try and get her. And, oh, yeah. it was honestly, I thought I was doing good to learn yeah. how to um, self-defense. But yeah. in the end, it ended up being a big nightmare. So, yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah. And I mean, she's a lovely girl. You know, mm -hmm. yeah, you yeah, know yeah. she's a lovely girl now and she's completely changed and she's really, um, yeah. you know, got, she's a Christian, she, gentle nature and stuff like that. But her younger days, wow, yeah. teenage years was like yeah. <laughs> horrific, mm -hmm. like, you know. And um, Would you think you're the Christianity side of things, Tony? I've always been interested in it, yeah. Always, because mm. yeah. it's like people always look for a weak person to say it, but there's a lot of men I know who look at Tyson Fury, you wouldn't go up to him and call him a man no. of Christianity, <laughs> would you? Exactly. Yeah, it's all right yeah. when uh, he's, he he come on that Tyson Fury the other day and he gave a message and it was fucking powerful. Yeah, really? you know. Oh, yeah. They hit me like oh, a ton of books, mate. Look at get YouTube. up out of bed, dude. Mm -hmm. I'll tell you what, that was a powerful message, mate. Wow. Did you see yeah, that? Seen it, that yeah, seen it, mate. That was yeah, some yeah. message, mate, mm -hmm. that was. Yeah. Wow, and then look when that. you see the other boxer, uh, uh, Klitschko, take the piss out of his uh, mental health issues, mate, that, like, uh, what's his name, Klitschko, when he went, you need help, you're mad, and all that. I thought, you're a psychologist, you just called that boy, uh, uh, like, called that man, mm. uh, you took the piss out of his mental health, yeah, but look who he is, he's world champion, mate. Because mm. all us who have mental health issues, do you know people yeah. go, oh, he's got mental health problems. Years ago, everyone has embarrassing. Do you know nearly every one Every single person is, is scared to say mm. they've got something they've got they know they do mm. wrong every day or they've got a trait. But they go, no one wants to know about it. 
You got yeah. me? It's hidden, isn't it? It's a very yeah. hidden thing. Like yeah. I said on my last podcast, my wife, uh, Zoe and uh, Nancy have come down with me for the day, by the way, guys. And uh, <laughs> they've came. And uh, and uh, and so, um, yeah, she went through it all, the depression and stuff like that. And she used to say, like, like I said on the last one, because like, I grew up with it, my mum used to have depression. And yeah. basically, if my, like, if my mum cried, which it weren't hard to do because she had depepression and stuff, yeah. bless her, like, you, know, you know, then I'd be in trouble with my dad when he got home. Yeah. So it kind of, Turn me, you know, get, so I didn't have much patience when, when Zoe got it until wow, then I got yeah. it myself. I ended up, my mum died, bless her, and then I, I ended up getting depressed for a little while, you know, yeah. lost that business, that home, everything, yeah. you know. And um, and so, yeah, and Zoe always used to say, like, you know, oh, if I had a bandage on my arm, yeah. you know, you'd have sympathy for me because it's a mental thing. Yeah. He said, like, no one seems to really care about it and that you know what i mean but yeah so it's a real big issue and yeah. it's so much more nowadays because so many people have been down the drug route and they've yeah. tried all the all the uh, psychic stuff and the, yeah. all that sort of gear yeah. which they don't realize what they're doing yeah. by doing all that stuff yeah. you're inviting in demons yeah. yeah so all the mental health yeah. stuff can come in yeah. or, or certainly if, even if you've got a generational curse yeah. from your ancestors the doors open a little bit because of that right yeah. but then when you open when you get into all this other stuff it yeah. fully opens up the door yeah. Yeah, and then all this stuff comes in, mm -hmm. and then quite often that's where you get depression and different stuff from. Yeah. But but it, yeah. they are just spirits. Yeah. You know what, what advice I mean? would you have for Tony then, just to yeah. keep going and push yeah, forward? You know, you know what yeah. I said to Jane. We yeah. we spoke about, it and I said to him, look, yeah. you know, um, he said, oh, you know, like he's, he's still battles and stuff. But yeah. I said, you, you know, you're doing so well. He's come away from uh, what a lot of his family uh, got exactly. involved with and yeah. stuff. And I said, because yeah. what you've done is. You've resisted the devil. It says in the Bible, res resist the devil, yeah. stand firm, and he'll flee from you. Yeah. So when you when you resist him and not give in to them yeah. thoughts of violence and yeah. doing all the wicked stuff and things you yeah. know you shouldn't be doing, yeah. what happens is it weakens your power of the demons. Without even getting deliverance, it weakens the power. Yeah. And this is what I believe has happened with James. Is as much as it's still you know, he can still yeah. battle, but yeah. the power of, of, of the enemy in his life has been weakened a lot yeah. compared to what it yeah. would have been because he'd have been out doing yeah. violence or whatever yeah. himself, yeah. you know what I mean? Yeah. So that's what I say to you, really resist. It's so easy, yeah. the devil will sit on your, yeah. he, he knows your weaknesses, he knows yeah. you better than what you do and he'll sit on your shoulder and say, look, why don't you just, yeah. just do that then if you don't want to do that. That's yeah. not that bad. Yeah. And you think, yeah, you know what, that ain't that bad, but in the yeah. back of your mind, you kind of, mm, I shouldn't yeah. do it. And he'll get you to do the little you're things. Right. It's just like the book thing. It's just like, I'll oh, know for a fact, I'm, I can sit here, it's not bragging terms, I'm entitled to know I, I'm, I've got a quality. If I was writing, that's what I always believe. My stories are quality mm. about life. They're not about entertainment. Like, oh, Johnny, one face, one ear, Johnny, and all. I don't want to talk about all that. Yeah. I, I just want to talk about the turmoil of it and what it all, or the Donomo's effects it all causes. Mm. And mm. it carries on for the next generation that. So, like, a redemption book for me is like something. Once that's done, I feel if, if, if it's done right, I can say that's the book, I'll go right and go, it's done. Mm. <sighs> Flip the chapter. Yeah. That'd be powerful. Yeah, Tony, that'd it, be yeah. powerful. Yeah. Mate. Do you follow what I'm trying to say there? It's Listen, like that would be ain't powerful. Just gonna, I don't want it in Amazon. It just goes, yeah, redemption. Yeah, I've done 20 years. Yeah, I've done that's not for me. It's got yeah, but a, how many lives did that, that changed so many lives? You get what I'm saying, it's though. Totally. It, yeah. That totally You've got to smell the well, We writing, did the same mate. in yeah, Christianity. Yeah, yeah. It's called a testimony. Yeah, yeah. So so when I went to church, like I was yeah. ashamed of who I was and what I'd done and stuff like that. And I used to be really ashamed to tell people and stuff. Not that I go broadcasting, oh yeah, I used to do this or do that back in the day anyway. But what I'm saying is, but it becomes your testimony. So all the stuff you've done, you can reach people that, you know, that I can talk to. I'm here today because of what I've done. If I hadn't had my past, maybe I, I wouldn't be here. I don't know. You know what I mean? So um, it can get used for the greater good in the end for God. You know what I mean? For God's glory. And, and that's what God does. He takes all the broken things and all the things that the devil meant for bad, and he turns it for his glory. He can yeah. use all them things, yeah. you know? So I just think that'd be really yeah. good because it'd help a lot of people. Yeah. Kev, why do you think so many people are scared of like Christianity and other religions go, yeah. fuck that shit, and, uh, and that's not for me? Because yeah. like, it's part, why of, is there a block part of the world. world. That is, you know? yeah, yeah, it's part of the world. Yeah, people think you're crazy. The devil has conditioned yeah. everybody yeah. to think, like yeah. it says in the Bible, the end days, it says good will become bad and bad will become good. That's what happened. But, but, but sorry, mm. Raj, what you said there, when I was in full Sutton, yeah, not a lot of people went church, yeah, mm. but like you've got other religions where they're packed, they, they really love their religion. Mm. And then I was going to church with this uh, priest, just one on one sessions, and they've got, they've got all, listen, there's some good prison officers. All these people go, do screw, there's good prison officers, mate, let me tell you, yeah. some good people, mm. mate. And uh, one of these weren't, mate, and I was in full Sutton, and it was a real dark time for me getting through. The early years of my sentence, mate, I was just like an hot potato. 
and I weren't accepting nothing that I was doing this time. Like, I look back now, I think, how the fuck did I get through that? I don't even know. I can't even remember half of it. And then this priest, I went to see him and they went on the mic, they call you in the cat A system mm. and go, oh, like taking a piss like over the mic. Oh. So I've got my Bible, gone down there. I went, you fucking, I said, you wouldn't say that about another religion, would you? I said, because you get your head smacked in, wouldn't you? Yeah. I said, so yeah. don't come on that mic. But that's what they, it's like, you shouldn't be saying that. Like, do you understand? It's like, that's the fear everyone has. Because they go, oh, holy, on the microphone. Mm. Who wants to go to Because you're mugging it. Mm. So yeah, that, that's you, how the world is. Right. Mm. It does. No, no, People it's, it's are scared. Yeah. As well as in the world. You know, yeah. we call it the world. You know, like, um, this is what happens. They've made it. Uh, the devil's twisted up everyone's mind you know they've conditioned their minds to a lot of people to think oh you know like how weak it is to do it it ain't it's a, it's a strength thing you know for me to do that and then say to my family and you know oh yeah i'm a christian they'd be like he's lost the plot you know what i mean and for me to still stay going uh, a lot of people kind of lost respect for me at the time you know what i mean they was like oh you know some people you win round later on you know what i mean but it didn't matter to me because it, my true friends and stuff and true family would be ones that would say, I'm so pleased for Kev. He's not, he's not, he's not doing wickedness no more. He's not hurting himself anymore because I'm never happy, but now all of a sudden I'm happy. So that's that bad yeah, thing. Yeah, that's the hard bit, Kev, when you're yeah. starting to make changes. Like when I was doing the cold water stuff and up mountains, mm. people were going, people were saying that I was more fucked up then than I was when I was on the gear. Yeah. But then when you start changing three, four years ago, the same people who are making fucking bad negative vibes towards me sending a lot of hate and negativity are the same ones now asking for help and now doing this go. stuff that I was doing there you go. four or five years ago so yeah. I, like, I'm open to every religion I'm open to what other mm. people's beliefs I don't know the right and wrong answers for mm. which right for your beliefs or what yeah. Tony believes but if you're making positive changes I know mm. a lot of people went through the 12 step program and turned yeah, to Christ really and they've changed yeah. their life mm. they've focused mm. their energy onto something positive then do it you're not harming mm. anyone you've got the gift as well Tony to make changes to then help change other people's yeah, lives so you've definitely I'm not doing it and I should be doing it I should be doing more of it do you know what I mean? Well, so that's what stops you. Yeah, but you know you what I mean? Me? Give yourself a break, yeah, mate. You yeah. know what I mean? You, but then I think, I think I've done like, I've literally been locked up for what, 28 years solid, that's behind wow. the door. Yeah, wow. even from a young age and that. And I think, do you know what? I think, you are, I think myself, fucking like, it's like sometimes I think you ain't giving your, you've got to give yourself a chance a bit here, mate. Because mm. see men, you come out of Nick, they think, look, prison, this, if you think you're coming out unscathed, you, you are, I've learned you're totally off your head mm. if you think you're coming out. Because you can sit here, you can say, you know, I've done the bit of bird. And let me tell you what, mate, the damage is when you get out. Mm. It's damaging, mate. It is. Mm. Mm. It's, it's so damaging. I've only done a four. Like, yeah. uh, well, only. <laughs> yeah. A day's, only. A day's see, too that's long. That's another thing. There. Watch this. But, see what you just said there. Yeah, I know, I know. I that's know. because you've done a four. Yeah. And people go, tell me, I'm only doing a four, mate. I'll go four. You're doing a long time, mate. Yeah, a day's too long in them places, right? right? But yeah. when I say, I mean, compared to what you've yeah. done yourself, but even for me after doing that time I, like my um, co-defendant um, uh, I was yeah. talking about him earlier uh, Joe, Joey Jackson like you know he, he, he's I mean he's God rest his soul he's dead now but he went he'd done it with me and all and he was he ended up getting a nine after that then he got a I think a three and a half or something like that after that but he was really strong minded you know yeah. but for me it really affected me it affected my confidence when I come out I was a lot more bubbly and yeah. talking and you know yeah. and uh, and I, fe I felt that yeah. it really uh, I've slowly got better as time's gone on yeah. you know but yeah it really I've really felt a difference yeah. whereas with him he was just really had a strong mind and yeah. it didn't seem to change him no. but the last one did the last one did but but yeah, but yeah he was pretty strong minded see me, right? I, when I was getting near to the end I actually thought to myself this is the truth I, I thought do I really want to get out? Ain't that mad? I didn't tell no one that. Yeah. I was buzzing to get out. I know what everything I thought it was going to be like wasn't. Mm. It was nothing going to be like what you fantasise wow. about. It was just mad. Got Are you me scared, Tony? Yeah, yeah. Got none of the none of the old life's there. A lot of people passed away, gone. It's just like you know, it's hard to fit in again. You understand mm. me? It's it's, it's hard. What were you going to say? Oh, that you got your bag? Got your yeah. I got my bag from reception. I thought, and then I just signed a bit of paper. Give me twenty four quid. Went see you later. Take care. Twenty four quid. Yeah, twenty four quid. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. I went all right. Lovely. Yeah. Cheers. I thought. As I was walking down, I thought, fuck me, ain't they got a, silv a salvation band here for me coming out something? Yeah. Or <laughs> yeah. ain't they know one like a circus coming yeah. through for all that mm. length of time, mate? I got in the yeah. car, shut down, mate. Well, now you doing all right? I went, yeah. He went, where do you want to go? I went, drove off. I thought, that's got to wow. be something else. Oh wow. That's got to be more than that. 
Yeah, was there a realisation at any time? That's to... right. This realisation, mate, yeah. It's realisation, that's when it hits you. Yeah, you think you're doing a purpose in there. You think you're like, you're a soldier and you're doing it and you're like, you're, you're, yeah. you're, uh, you are, that's your mission in your life. You've done it, you're staunch, you're this. But you know what, when you come out, mate, whose mission you're doing? You're doing your own one, mate. Do you understand me? It's you, just all rubbish it's tone, isn't it? It's fucking mental, mate. It's just all nuts, isn't it? You get caught up in the madness, yeah. don't you, with, of it all. And when you look back, some of the things I've done, I think, I can't believe I actually done that. No, <laughs> you know no, what I mean? No, I'm no, like, no, I still no, can't no, get my head right. All right, there's been a lot yeah. of change happened to me there and stuff, but yeah. still, you know, yeah. before I was even properly fully, I was yeah. thinking, what was I thinking? Mm. Some of the things because I've of the way you like, know? see it as well, Kev. It's, it's hard for people to realise because obviously you made your own ecstasy pills. You've try to shoot yeah. people you've done a lot of bad shit in your life yeah, to then yeah. the way you speak about it now it's still even the way when you talk about violence it's still very calming yeah right. <laughs> right do you know I swear to God right if I, I can't see that there's nothing in you I can see that at all that's how mad it is oh, well, thank you've got you, something Lord. that I would, I, I would like because all I, I tell you what thank you Jesus mm -hmm. when you just said yeah. make AC pills I thought I'm what yeah because yeah. I don't see that in you Thank you, Lord. Because it's gone it's, from you, mate. Do you it, understand it, me? It, 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 it you me. don't even hold a little bit of it. Some of us yeah. change, but we still might go, yeah, anyway. And, and you could be on the changing path, but you still will throw something in and mm. go like, uh, yeah, I know it's bad back then, yeah, but I, uh, I parted, I've done this. And, and you still think, well, there's still a lot of that in you still without you even knowing it. You can mm. see on that camera, that camera don't lie. It still sees it. It still sees my torment. But yeah. my people who know me know I was in agony on my first one. Mm. Like proper agony, I come out of it. I thought, well, I thought, I don't even remember what happened with James. Until mm. I watched it, I thought, well, I'll tell you what, that was raw. But there was so much I wanted to tell him, I could have done 17 podcasts with him. Yeah, yeah. From, from the born to the middle to the end, it, I rammed it in. And sometimes it's like, that's just how it is. Mm. But sometimes it, it has to be what it is. Because otherwise, mm. he'd dive out the fucking window, James. <laughs> <laughs> he'd get out the window, he wasn't here no more. <laughs> no, honestly, I felt, yeah. I, and then when I went to all my violence, mm. sorry to keep you up with it, yeah. James is like, wow. Mm. It's just, and it's not yeah. a bragging term. It's just no, like, I know what you're saying. I yeah, I can, see, I can see it ain't, stopped, you're not mate. about yeah. that. Yeah, I can yeah. see you're not about that at all. Yeah, yeah. it's just, it's just hard. And then, and then it's acceptance by everyone else to leave you alone a little bit. It's hard. Mm. Do you understand me? So yeah. where do you go from here, Tony? What's your plans, brother? Do you know? I, I just oh, well, obviously I'm staying out of uh, I'm staying out of prison. That's the that's the one that keeps me out. I'm doing what uh, my license says I do, but I've got I think uh, the book's important for me, and something mm. else got to be important. There's got to be some change coming. Not change because my behaviour, because my behaviour's all right, but there's got to be some other direction. There. Yeah, yeah. Because I'm coming to the times now when I'm, I'm I'm not a worry. I'm not going to go and flip out and have a fight or nothing, but. I'm thinking I'm getting older now, and I've got I've got to have something else. has got to be a bit different now. Mm. It has, truthfully. Mm. It feels do, like do, you're do, slipping, do, Tony. Yeah, not slip. No, it's not like slip. I'm not going to go back in egg and mm. do things. It's just like it's like it's it's, it's not. Like I feel like I need something to fucking give me a, like put me in a, a nice place, like like. A, a loving little place for a little while. Let me have some peace. Yeah. Do you understand yeah, me? I totally get it. Well, I've not had yeah. any peace. Yeah. yeah I, don't, I don't get any peace, mate. It's mm. it's not happening. Yeah. And I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm going, going to get like, you somewhere. I know, I I know our place, change, actually. Yeah. 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 I know our place, change. exactly, for yeah. where you can I'll get somewhere after a couple of weeks. I need my brain to think weeks. and have time to relax. Reset. Yeah, reset. Reset everything. Yeah. I need it reset, mate. Are you in the same area as what you grew up in and stuff? No, no. Moved out there. Moved out there, yeah. That's good, though, isn't it? You know what I mean? Yeah, that's good, yeah. I think that's going to help, isn't it? You know what I mean? Did you ever trade or anything like that when you was younger? Or did you do any any type of... No, I just wanted to be a criminal. I know it's sad, isn't it? I was just like, when I was at school and the policeman used to come and they go, what, do you want to be a fine? And then I used to think, I want to be a criminal. That's how sad that is. To be honest, I was the same, really. I did manage to get... Um, yeah. work you know for a few years yeah. with Dynerod you know um, yeah. which I loved I uh, loved when I was younger but apart from that I didn't really have no trade yeah. myself really you know what I mean and um, and that's what I've kind of fell back on there you know um, uh, well, I but, worked in that but, but I just thought this ain't for me I didn't you really know, work. fucking no, hate being told what to do in that. Yeah. I was, I was oh. just lazy. I didn't want to get out of bed. No. I was puffing all the time. No. I didn't want really to get out of bed. No. I didn't want really to do nothing. You know what I mean? No. So, but yeah. Uh, but well, you know, it's, it's like seeing you today. I'll, I'll take your number today and I think yeah. we'll okay. get something else out of this today. I think so, That's yeah. what I think. Yeah, anyway. I believe that. I really yeah, believe, I believe that, that as well. That. Yeah, yeah. You know. 
because you're top class, mate. I'll tell oh, you. Oh, bless you're, you. That's you're really and I ain't just saying this because we're on a mm. podcast for James. I'm telling you, he's he just said it to you and all. You've got something about you. It's a nice bit of peace you've got, mate. Yeah. I'll tell you. If you were selling it, I'd buy a couple of the uh, bottles off yeah. you. I'm I mean, giving yeah. it away for nothing. <laughs> no, no, no. Yeah. No. To be honest, I see that in the, in the video that I watched as well. Yeah. I could see that you're desperate to change and yeah. you don't want to be doing all the stuff you've no, done no, you can clearly not, no. see that and yeah. you're not happy and proud about what you've no. done you want change no. and you're in remorse yeah. you know what i mean so yeah. you this is what i said to yeah. me wife and nancy as well like i've said i can i can see you're right you know um i, I think ripe for christianity do you know yeah. what i mean like you're at a point of change or yeah. a, you know what i mean yeah. um that's yeah. where you really get the big change yeah. like i say but um because yeah. if you tried everything and you ain't tried, tried everything that, what well, you know what you yeah. ran away from to yeah. me it's yeah. nothing yeah. nothing to lose mm -hmm. you know what i mean but yeah. everything to gain like yeah. but this podcast is dedicated to your cousin marie mm -hmm. thank you Marie. Thanks. Yeah. honestly it means a lot yeah to, to yeah. and also that. the sponsors yeah. from boxing yeah. barbers oh, at the very start of it but for anybody watching, Tone, it's battling themselves. You're, you're going through the struggle yourself, but you know you're going to push through. What advice would you give for them? What well, where I am now, what advice I give? I think you, if you, if you stop for one minute and you and you don't keep pushing through, you're in massive trouble. Yeah. Because the stop's mm. easier than the pushing through. Mm. Does that make sense? Yeah, it does. Yeah, that's mm. what scares me. Yeah, but not saying I'm going to fail, but it's like uh, it's right around the corner all the time for me at the moment. You got me? Mm. It's there. Mm. Not felt like I'm going to get myself nicked or anything. It's because I've stopped doing it. I haven't. I have nothing else is being put in its place. I'm mm. just doing it, being a normal citizen now. My family. I'm, oh, I've got to have something else. Mm. It can't be like that. That's why I want to do the book. And then I think that you ain't, that's the one on your shoulder goes, oh, you ain't doing a book, mate. You ain't going to get it right. Yeah, you will. See, that's not... Mm. And I think this, I need a bit of peace here, mate. You got mm. me? You will. I, yeah. I strongly believe you'll do yeah. it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm sure. And I've had great... Mm. And the nicest thing I've got, I was going to shout out... Can I shout out to a few Everybody, people? Yeah. Mate, I've got everybody, a list. I had want. to write a list here, yeah. So these people are great. It's like... Um, you know, I never shout out to no one, but these people have helped me and, and they're true friends. It's like Wayne Sutton there. Uh, I've got, I had to write them down today because these people, they mean a lot to me. It's uh, Danielle, Ellie, Danny, Divi uh, from West Ham, Sandy and Titch. They're an Asian, uh, Indian family, grew up with them. Yeah. They didn't go down our path. They're great people. And mm. like, I admire them people who have not yeah, took out yeah. because we go, oh, we come from a poor background. They've moved on, they do things. And it's mm. like, John Denny Earn, uh, Brian Clacton from The Boys, Marcus, Lewis, Steve Lowe, Mickey Clare from fucking, um, what's it called, Kent, Phil, Aaron, Chris, uh, Joe Earn, Paul Tiernan, Yami, Quincy, Dow Alfie, Emily J, and uh, from all over, all from up north, wow, I know, wow. and all that, yeah, yeah. 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 Shout out to Yami, yeah. Quincy, yeah. and Paul. Yeah, yeah guys, seriously. Yeah. Paul still helps me today, Paul Tiernan. Uh, still does. Wow. Talk to me, he knows me off. He, he, do you know why I like him? He, he's like, he won't mind me saying, he, he'll sit me sometimes and he'll go, it's still, I can see it, mate, it's still in your eyes, mate. Yeah, mm. and I go, what? He goes, yeah, you're right. I go, yeah, yeah, you can't fool him, mate. He sees mm. the pain you're in. Yeah. He, he's therapy for me. I ring him sometimes. He goes, Tony, you're in pain, mate. Yeah. And I am, seriously. Mm. And I ain't scared. Do you know what? No one else I ain't scared to point the camera because I ain't scared to say it. Because I ain't. But you know I'm, what? You're just I'm being honest. Say it. Quite, yeah, everyone goes not, through it, but, but yeah. not everyone admits it. This is no, the thing. This is no. the difference. So, yeah. yeah. No, what about yourself, right. Kev? How do we, anybody that's struggling, you, you found peace yourself and yeah. you, you know how to get there. Yeah. Roger might not be for everyone. People might think it's this or that. People can have their own beliefs, but if you're a man there sitting just calm as you like and seems as if yeah. nothing can phase you, you've clearly got the key to something. Mm. Yeah. What advice would you give for the people who's maybe going through the battle? Like I say, look, you know, um, uh, I, I won't say Christianity ain't for everyone. It's for everyone. That's, yeah. that's what it's for, yes. Yeah. But but whether you take it up to another story, right, like, you know. Look, Tibsy, look at all. Look, yeah. It's just because it's not just boxing. Look at Tyson Fury. Mm. Look at, he's, he suffers more. He, listen, that man, I admire him. He talks it out, mate. But he's a world champion. Mm. First he was hated, then he was liked, Yeah. You had people jumping on him because he weren't allowed to suffer like, look where he is now. Yeah, you got you Tibsy, go. Nigel, Ben. They're not weak men, mate. Mm. They're not weak men. It's not weak. It's like, whether I would, oh, it does that for me or not, I'm not going to go, yeah, it might not. 
But I've got to give something to fucking try. Yeah. Home, you know. Yeah. But I feel my brain needs to be sp uh, sponged out a little bit. You know, where it's soaked up with water, it needs to be squashed out a little yeah, bit. Yeah, there's a lot. Not through trouble. Mm. Anxiety of getting in trouble is still like, I ain't getting in trouble. I ain't going back the old ways. Mm. No, but no, it's still, no, just the battles you're going it's still through, fucking battles, yeah, mate. Yeah, yeah. So I'm going like, well, what's happening here? I need mm. something else to come along. It's a process. Don't stand me, James. It's yeah. like, it does me. It's a yeah. process, like you know, we work with quite a few different people. You know what I mean? And um, yeah. and um, yeah, it's, it's a process. It don't happen uh, overnight. You get some peace, and then it takes a little bit of time. Yeah. You know. But then um, when you have one moment, some days I have one moment. I go, oh, this is lovely. Mm. And you think, wow. And then no, I do. I think, oh, I shouldn't be feeling too happy. And then I've changed that, mate. Yeah. Don't feel that's that's the the energy 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 energy. Energy. Like, that right, exactly. Mm. And then mm. I'll go on a downer within half hour of being happy, laughing, thinking, oh, why am I happy? Then you fight the happiness. It's crazy. Have you mm. got? You've had that one. Yeah, I still do that. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah feel yeah. million dollars. Yeah. Do a bit of press up, mm. a bit of pads. You think, yeah, oh, life's good. Birds are whistling tree. Half hour late, that bird's getting on your nerves in the tree. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's like, I swear, you go and you think, I go, look at it, all these years I've been away, look at it, isn't it beautiful? Wow. Then all of a sudden, I, I think a cloud comes over the sun. I'm trying to sit in the sun, and I hear a bird going, like making a noise. I think, oh, fuck off and leave me alone. Why uh, did you think like that? It's like, you know, it's the fault never it's last. Having, yes. Yeah. You know what I mean? But that will, that will, it will get better for you. You know what I mean? But, um, but I'll never talk, I'll never blow smoke up anyone's ass, any of my powers tell you. Uh, I'll I tell you what, you a I admire person. you and, yeah. and I think like the piece oh, in your you. face, your face is really relaxed mm. and uh, your body language is brilliant. Because if you. you watch me and your body language now, I look at you and I think, like, this geezer's got it for me. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Oh, no, really seriously, I do. Yeah, no, definitely. You know, yeah, 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 yeah. Like, uh, is mm, you think lucky bastard, though? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I do. Lucky, I yeah. do. I'm jealous. Yeah. It's like, you've got saying that I ain't got. It's not jealous in an horrible way. Yeah. But no, like, no, you know, no, I know what you're saying, but yeah. like I say, it really is free. You know what yeah. I mean? It's, it, it really ain't yeah. that hard a thing. Do you want to, does anyone want to die without any peace of mind that's the worst thing well, you, to do when you, you know, go down that grave exactly why did you live for no peace of mind what was the fucking point mm -hmm. you know some people might <laughs> say me, right? yeah some people might say you know what um yeah like live that lifestyle rah, rah, rah. Yeah. what do you mean what what yeah. getting angry less you know you won't never i'm not saying you'll never get angry or never get impatient you do sometimes just just normal but nowhere near what i used to i'm, I'm you know much much more happier in them them sort of areas what you, you you're telling me that um, living a right life, not breaking any laws, and d doing everything you're meant to be doing. By the time we die, just say, for instance, there wasn't nothing there. I know there is, because when you when you get saved, people say, you know, how do you know? Well, I know God. I know I know Jesus, the Holy Spirit, because I have a personal relationship with Him. It's hard for people to understand until they enter into it. So, so what will happen if there ain't if it ain't real? All right. Well, what have I done? I've led yeah. a good life. That's exactly. Uh, good I've course. had a, a peaceful life. Yeah, I like uh, that. There's no, yeah. it's a win-win. You can't, you know, and if, if I die and actually there is heaven, happy yeah. days, I'm in yeah. heaven. If not, I've still had a nice life if, and I've but, been good. But That's if it, yeah. you, on the flip side of it, if you still live a life of sinning, uh, unforgiving, stuff like that, uh, and then you're standing before the Lord on judgment, yeah, your mate, no one else is, no is going to be there with you. It's, you're yeah. going to be between you and God. You're going to be like, what have I done? Mm -hmm. The fear is going to be the worst fear you've ever felt in your life because yeah. you know I'm in trouble. Yeah, that's how I'm I feel in trouble. sometimes. I feel like mm. I feel I'm banging trouble. Mm. Yeah. Banging if, trouble. If, go, if there is that way, I think, oh, I you go. You've saying, done a lot sorry. of good, which I have. Mm. Look, I, I still train young uh, kids just for nothing now on the pads. I like helping kids got insecure. I like find, I always like people who, who, uh, who are sh a bit shy and they ain't got no confidence. That's me. Yeah. I feel for them people because I see it in them. Yeah, I like mm. to help people find that uh, power again. Mm -hmm. And they go, used to go to me and present, how can you teach me a uh, box and be like that time? I go, because like, sometimes you, I needed it you, yourself. I wanted that. Mm. What I'll give is what I always what wanted. Is, sometimes yeah, I yeah. an arm around you. Sometimes go, everything's going to be all right, mate. You, I've got your back. You're mm. going to be good. Yeah. That's so, so important what you're doing. Because like, yeah. from a young age and stuff yeah. as well, where they're more open to change and be influenced by someone like yourself who's yeah. been through all the different stuff, you know, it's a really, really important role, I think, and, yeah. and you can make a real big change to people's lives. And you don't won't fully know what difference yeah. you've made till, like I say, we're standing before the Lord and we find out uh, what what we've done and accomplished yeah. in our life, you know. So, yeah, I think it's amazing yeah. to be working for the youngsters is, is great. Would you like to finish up on anything, Kev? 
I, if you don't mind, I don't know if this would be okay, disruptive. If not, maybe I was going to say, would it be okay to get the girls into do? We want to do a prayer yeah. uh, for healing and stuff yeah, like yeah. that yeah. for anyone going through yeah, mental wellness yeah, yeah. and stuff like that. Is that right, girls? You want to do a prayer for all? If there's anyone as well, including yourselves, any afflictions or anything yeah. you've got, you know, that comes to mind, we can pray and we believe that God's yeah. going to heal them. As well, put your hand on that spot. Mm. Yeah. And, and mine's here. Oh, yeah. 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 Okay. That's mine, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Mm. We're going to pray. It's yeah. not us. It's the Holy Spirit. Okay. And the Lord knows there's a lot of people yeah. in pain. So yeah. the people are going to hear the sound of our voice. Yeah. Mm. We believe we're going to be healed. There's going to be people yeah. feeling the fire of God. People are going to be healed, delivered and set free, aren't they? Mm. Yeah. yeah, that's, okay. that's it. Yeah. Yeah. I'm ready for that. So... Na Na places, Nancy, Nancy, Nancy yeah. um, we've yeah. got Prophetess Nancy with yeah. us today. Um, Nancy's a seer yeah, as well, yeah. so Nancy can see all mad she things. Sees spirit, she yeah. sees in the spirit. She comes down with you. Yeah, I like that. Yeah, she can you see anything in me then? Be yeah. truthfully, yeah. really. What is it? She Please was, tell me. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so wow. Nancy sees sees she can yeah. see angels and she can see yeah. demons. She can she actually gets yeah. to see all that stuff, you know. Yeah. Um, so yeah, so. Yes. Yeah, yeah. So, so yeah, Father God, we just call on your Holy Spirit because, Lord, we can't do it on our own. We're just normal people like everyone else here, Lord. So it's only by your Holy Spirit that people get healed, delivered and set free. So, Lord, we call upon your Holy Spirit, Lord. We call upon your fire. Let your fire fall down right now, Lord. Let your fire fall down right now, Lord, on the people watching. Father, we ask um, uh, any back problems. Lord, we ask that their backs be realigned right now in the name of Jesus. Lord, we ask for any tendons, ligaments, muscles that is affecting that back. Uh, Lord, we pray right now for healing. We apply the blood of Jesus to their spines. We ask that their spines be realigned right now. Their discs be um, pulled back into place. Any prolapse discs, let it come back into place right now in the name of Jesus. Lord, and we strengthen all the muscles around that disc to hold it in place. Father, we talk um, as, as my two brothers here said about their hearts, Lord. People with broken hearts, Lord. Broken hearts, Lord. Lord, it says in your word that you, Lord, gather the pieces of them broken hearts and you put them hearts back together, Lord Jesus. So we ask right now, Lord, that you do that, Lord, for any fragmented souls, broken hearts, Lord. Lord, collect the pieces right now, Lord. Collect the pieces right now, Lord. Put them back together with your own two hands, Lord. Heal the broken hearts, Lord. Give them peace, Lord. Anyone's going through any traumas and stuff lord we ask that you be there with them lord they've still got to go through these process of healing uh, uh for losses of loved ones and stuff lord but we ask father god that, that you take them through it by your holy spirit that you give them peace and you wrap your arms around them right now lord and let them know that you are there for them lord and that you've got them um so father we ask for any other sickness and disease we bind up all the works of the enemy that's bringing sickness and disease to the people under the sound of our voice right now uh we bind you up you wicked spirits but lord we loose your healing spirit upon them right now your love your joy your peace let it fall upon all the people lord let them feel your presence lord going into the prisons and out into the into the whole country in jesus mighty name we pray Thank you, Jesus. Yes, Lord, we just take all authority over all mm. sickness in the name of Jesus. Yes, Lord. And I really feel right now that someone watching, hearing the sound of our voice, mm. is going to get healed of yep. rheumatoid arthritis yep. right now. Thank you, Lord. In the name of Jesus mm. Christ of Nazareth. But yeah, I can see there's a minds minds being reset right Thank now you, Lord. in the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Mm. And and guys, I'm saying to you, any anyone who's listening, just cry out to Jesus. Yes. Cry out to He's your healer. He will heal you yep. right now. And like yep. I said, put your hands anywhere yes, where Lord. you're in pain that you need a healing. Mm. If you've got a bad ankle, anyone with carpal tunnel syndrome, put your hand on that spot now. We yep. release Thank your you, healing power, mm. Jesus. Right Thank now you, Lord. in the name of Jesus. So, Lord, I just we release brand new mindsets, and Lord, we just speak to any spirits that are tormenting spirits, mm. um, yes. lying spirits, yes. spirits. Yep, of we bind you up, we, yeah. and spirits mm. of hurt, spirits of broken heart. We command you yep. go right now in the name of Jesus. Jesus. So we just say, be healed right now in the mighty name of our Lord Jesus mm. Christ of Nazareth, and be set free mm. in Jesus' name. 
And Lord, the biggest miracle we pray for today, uh, tonight, the biggest miracle we're praying for right now, Lord, um, is people under the sound of our voice, Lord, is for your salvation, Lord. We bind up all spirits of unbelief, all antichrist spirits, any other spirit that's coming against uh, you right now, Lord, yeah, and, uh, and, and coming against the salvation. But Lord, we loose your salvation. Let your salvation fall upon the people, Lord, so that they may feel peace, Lord, than uh, what the gentleman has been saying about how I look so peaceful lord it's only because you're in my heart lord so lord i pray let, let them feel that lord what i'm feeling right now let them feel that lord the presence of you lord and your holy spirit thank you lord in jesus name we pray there's chains broke, mm. breaking thank you there's lord chains being broken right mm. now in the yes name of lord jesus. Mm. the people being set free right now in the mm. name of jesus, jesus. So, yeah, we prophesy that in the mm. mighty name of our Lord Jesus, Jesus. Christ of Nazareth. That after mm. hearing the sound of our voice, now you'll never be the same. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' mm. mighty name. Amen. It's prophetess. Sorry, just one last thing. It's prophetess Nancy. Is there anything you want to share that you might see or whatever? Or? No, I just, I really, oh, and it, yeah. I just really feel I can see that, uh, yeah, it's, Tony's got a great future. I can see him with loads of kids really being a great mentor, like mm, using amen. skills and mm. really like honing in and really helping mm. the children, like the next generation amen. coming up. Like mm. God's got such an amazing plan. I can just, I can feel God's hand on you. Yes. And yes. Hand, come to me. Come yes. To me. He's waiting and he, he just wants you he wants to take that burden off of you and he wants to take all that stress and he's saying, come to me, but you need to come to him mm. and he will, he will give you that the peace. rest that mm. God mm. and the peace mm. that you, you can, no matter what you're going through, you'll have that peace and it, it will just take all that anger, everything away, all that pain, all the years that you've been through, all that torment, he just he mm. wants to take it all away from you. But Thank you, you Lord. Have to, you have to surrender. surrender. You have to surrender. You have to surrender and say, yes, Lord, I'm here. Mm. Help me. Help me. Yeah. Amen. 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 Wow. Amen. Check out more of my podcasts on the right and be sure to like, share and comment your thoughts on this week's podcast. Thank you.